tournament, and I'm just glad we're going to be able to give it our coverage here today. Uh, a lot of these matches for the day show that we're starting with look good, uh, but what I'm looking forward to the most has got to be Azumi versus Hazaki. I think that's going to be one hell of a freaking match, and I'm excited to see it unfold. So, yeah, let's just hope for a great two sets of shows today. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm excited to be covering the entire day three, both shows today. I'm not even 100% sure if we're going to get through all of this in time for Monday Night Raw, but we don't really care about Monday Night Raw anyway, so fuck it. We're still going to enjoy stardom while we can. Uh, so we do have Rena versus Starlight Kid versus Hina pulled up. We are at 39 seconds. John, if you are ready to go, I'm ready to go, and I am excited to get into this. So let me Let's do it, man. Excellent. We're going to get our first promo here from Rena. And then the other two, and then we're going to end this match. Three, two, one, go. It's a saga in the opening match. Three way versus Tina and, and Kid. Yeah! Oh, since I haven't wrestled in Osaka since this year's draft. She's going to run a while today. Yes, sir! Yeah, we'll see about that. There's Hina. Today's a three way battle. She's facing Rena and Kid, and she'll definitely win, she thinks. Hmm. I don't know, Starlight Kid being in this, I kind of doubt it. Yeah, Starlight Kid definitely has a lot to prove here. So Soccer World Hall and a three-way versus Rena and Hina versus the Twins. It's my first three-way with Rena and Hina. Oh. Ah. They're in different units, but I have to be careful because they're twins. Yeah. She'll try her best, John. Here we go. Yeah, here comes Rena coming out to Hana Kimura's theme song. I love this. And Rena ready to do business. Could be a huge win for her if she was to win this three-way because we know Starlight Kid is on the rise. This is Hina now. Yep. Is it? It might be Starlight. I don't know. I thought I heard the announcer say Hina. Oh, did you? I thought anyway. So how's everyone doing in chat today? I see we have Brandon Best, Abel, Kirby. Aaron was here. I don't know if he's still around. It is. Yeah, it is Hina. Rocking that QQ gear with the mask and everything. Yeah. It's Aaron. Aaron's here still, too. So it's Tokyo Cyber Squad versus Queen's Quest versus Starlight Kid is with stars, right? Yep. She really embodies everything that stars stands for. And here comes Starlight Kid. She's both one of the more talented performers on the roster, and she might as well be a mascot for her faction as well. And, you know, it's uh, it's amazing watching Starlight Kid, you know, her, her progress, because we know she's been eyeing the high-speed championship. Yeah. But she unfortunately got screwed out of that by, uh, well, not even necessarily screwed. I mean, it was a three-way. Everything's kind of legal in a three-way. But she didn't anticipate Riho encroaching in on that territory. Yep. And Riho ended up winning the title. So That's why I keep saying, man, we need a, a three-way match. Another three-way match for the high-speed title between Riho and the, uh, the previous champion, Hazuki, and Starlight Kids, and she wasn't pinned in that match. No, she was not. Death Yamasan, the former champion, was pinned in that oh, match. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Death. So four-way. Screw it. I mean, re or, um, Hazuki never got a rematch, so. I mean, this is a, a woman in Starlight Kid who went to a draw with Tom Nakano. So, you know, you got to 
you got to wonder. Like, she's definitely come into her own. I fully expect her to win this three-way today, but stardom may surprise us. We'll see. And now we got introductions here. Yep. And, you know, you look at uh, Rena and Hina, they're so young. I mean, they're they're still practically children, for God's sakes. They are. But, you know, they're, they're no kind of like... Uh, they're children. They're 12. Exactly. And, you know, uh, they're like foot soldiers for their factions. So you just got to wonder how these matches, how these experiences will help them grow and how their growth will contribute to the factions long term. You know, how is Rena going to impact Tokyo Cyber Squad in the next five to seven years, you know, Dude, she might not even be on the team in the next five to seven years. They do drafts every year. Remember that is true. That is true. She may leave. She may come back again. She may go all the way over as could Hina. Yeah. You know, when you're that young, there's a lot of stardom to explore. Absolutely. But in the meantime, yeah, that's the thing. The draft is a relatively new concept. It's only been going on since 2018. So we've only had two of them in total. Uh, but, you know, five, ten years down the line, we're going to have gotten used to it being a yearly thing, and we're going to kind of know what to expect going forward. And you may not think that people like Rena and Hina would rank that high on the radar when you're thinking about a draft, but if you want that next generation. For yeah, I was going to say, they might not yet, but, you know, the first picks are always very young girls. Like the, this year, the first three picks, I want to say, were... Starlight Kid, Azumi, and Hazuki. So, Starlight Kid, uh, you know, 20... Or, uh, Starlight Kid, 18 years old. Azumi, 16, going on 17. Hazuki, 21. All very young. The future of stardom gets drafted in the first round of the draft. Double team here by the Twins, which Starlight Kid wanted to be wary of. Arm drag there by Hina. Rina yeah, now. Double uh, yeah. drop kick. Starlight and Azumi are both... Um, Two consecutive first round picks. They both went in the first round for both of the drafts that have happened so far. Ah. Uh, that's the thing. When you're talking about building for that next generation for your faction, you know, protecting its integrity and its legacy, you look at Rena and Hina being as young as they are, and you think, well, maybe I could entrust my brand and my faction to these uh to one of these girls and Starlight Kid, they're breaking up the armbar attempt. I want to say Mayu even said that she felt like Hanan, who is the older sister, would be leading stars in a few years. Oh, wow. So there's definitely a level of like a, a sense of they are the future kind of thing going on. I mean, that is huge praise. And oh, oh, Rena. no, nice STO there. Yep. Right now, trying to get the crowd into this here, trying to get them fired up. Starlight Kid there. Starlight Are they going to? Yeah. Our stars and Tokyo Cyber Squad TCS going to work together? I think they are. Yeah, they are. I, I know. Oh, but whiffed. Oh, and then she's like, double team on Starlight. Wow. Well, hey, if the double team I did with you didn't work out, then that must mean you're the problem. <laughs> yeah, obviously. And nice. Spring nice recovery there by Starlight Kid. Now smack in the canvas here. Starlight Adolescent. Tiger Fang Kick. Nice. Going after Rena. And it could be another one here. Uh, and she got it. Yeah, Rena yeah, got she hit. she got her. Is she going to stack them? Yeah, she's going to stack them. Double Moonsault incoming. And she Nicely done. Double pin. One, two, and double kick out. Rena kicked out with emphasis there. Oh, nice judo throw, throw there by Rena. By Rena. Very impressive. Rena staking her claim here. Oh, Starlight. No, Rena counters with a kick. Going for the octopus. And can she get it? She's got the arm. She's got it. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a traditional octopus. She's got to wonder, though, if she's going to make Starlight Kid sing with it. Oh, wait, Hina. Hina coming Hina breaking up the octopus. Nice uppercut there. Forearm there by Hina. Oh, Hina man. now. Trying to get back in this thing. Oh, man. Hina going crazy. All these forearms. Oh, Starlight, though. Oh, she missed, too. Hina with the ripcord STO. Very nice. And Rena breaking it nice. up on Hina double there. stomp there by Rena. That was cool. Forearm. Yep. Oh, we're going to back forth. Back and forth here from the twins. Forearm exchange. 
Oh, Hina got the upper hand. Irish whip reversed by Rena, bringing her in for a backslide. That might do it. Into a bridge. One, two. Oh, and, and Starlight breaks oh. it up. If Starlight wasn't there, Rena would have won this three way. That would have been a huge win for her. Absolutely. Well, Starlight, no, she thought about a scoop slam. I'm just going to try it on Starlight Rina there. Going for the backslide. Didn't get the bridge, though. Starlight rolls out. Oh, what? Ghetto clutch. Yeah, Hina with the ghetto clutch. Two. And Rena breaks it up. Wow. You can see these two. I think they realize how important this match is because, again, Starlight went to a draw with Tom and she competed for the high speed trying to do STOs on each other. Oh, but Starlight with the cross body to both of them. Nice running lariat there on Hina. Kick there to the stomach of Rena. Twisting neck breaker. Very nice. Oh, and a kick out. What a bridge. Did not expect Rena to kick out of that, honestly. Yeah, that was a really nice bridge, though. Starlight, though, maybe looking to punctuate this. Oh, wow. So very nice. Two. That's it. Yes, that is it. That's curious. I wonder why there's so much time left on this video. Yeah, I was shocked by that, too, when I saw who was involved in this three-way and yet that timestamp. So what's going to happen? Maybe she will make a high-speed challenge. We've been talking about it all commentary. No, I'm just seeing darkness. Really? It might have just been like an upload error where they uploaded the video longer than it actually is. I'm not seeing anything. All right. Well, then let's uh, let's move on to the next thing, I guess. Yeah. I'm kind of right. forwarding 30 seconds at a time or so, and it's just blackness. Yeah, there's nothing. All right, well, may maybe that's the same thing with, with all of these, because I noticed this has a very similar timestamp. You know, we'll see. Then again, this is more believable because this is Queen's Quest versus Oedo Tai. So we'll see what happens. But I am at 39 seconds. I'm ready when you are. You are at 39 seconds on QQ versus Oedo Tai? That's correct, yes. All right, I'm going to pull that up. I am going to make sure that I get to 39 seconds as well. And... Make sure that I have my quality at a decent level so that it's not uh, no risk of extra buffering going on. All right. 39 seconds and I'm there. And I paused. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you get to the 825 afternoon show video number two, Oedo Tai versus Queen's Quest. Uh, we are there at 39 seconds. So you want to get there? And John, you said you were there, so I'm going to do our countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they're teaching Jamie a little bit of Japanese. Yeah. There's no visual match in the Blue Stars for me and Bay. B. Excuse me, B. So we're teaming up against Oedo Tai. Two of them are in the Blue Stars also, so I want to beat them. And there's the QQ pose. <laughs> oh, Tommy's corpsing. <laughs> oh, Abel's rooting for Oedo Tai. Yeah, Abel. That's I know Aaron right. and Jackie are both QQ fans, so. Yeah, I really don't care for B at all. So. Oh, I guess it's not Aaron that I was thinking. Who was a QQ fan? There was a QQ fan other than Jackie that we had. Was it? No, it wasn't Kirby either, was it? I know we have another QQ fan. I'm just trying to remember who it is. Yeah, honestly, I think I've watched Stardom long Chief enough. Chiefin. Chief Chief. is the other QQ fan, and he's not here right now, unfortunately. I think I've watched Stardom long enough to already say that Queen's Quest is my least favorite faction. Yeah, uh, it's what happens when you're created by an actual queen and then she abandons the kingdom. Yeah, because B, I just find boring, to be quite honest. And Momo, while I respect her in-ring work, I mean, she's just awful. So, you know, <laughs> them's the breaks. And Utami, like, I, I like her. She's probably actually my favorite one in Queen's Yeah, she's Quest, really growing on me lately. Um, I just think, again, she needs more flavor. You're like all steak and no sizzle, so, you know. I mean, I like steak, so. I mean, yeah. 
But when you look at Oedo Tai, I mean, Hazuki is just everything. Uh, Jamie Hayter is a wonderful guy, Jen. I prefer her by leaps and bounds to be Priestley. Um, yeah, Same. just everybody. Yeah. Natsu is freaking adorable, and she's shown she's multidimensional. Kagetsu. I, I love Kagetsu, too, man. Like, she's got that wily side to her. Like, she'll do underhanded shit. But you can also see, like, that tenderness and, like, that veteran side of her, I guess, from being here so long. Like, yeah, Oto Tai is just wonderful. I hope they do well in the draft, uh, you know, coming up. Cause it's not until April. Them, yeah. It's not until April. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it. April and March, or April and May, I mean, are going to be a lot of fun, though, because not only do we have – um, you know, the draft in April, but then we also have Golden Week, which kind of bridges April into May, and that's really fun, too, and we're going to get to witness it live for the first time ever. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Plus, they might do another U.S. show in April like they did this year. Nice. There we go. Here we go. Oh, you look at the six competitors in this match, right? And it's six actual five-star competitors and Leo Onozaki. <laughs> uh, Onozaki One is. of these things is not like the others. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking say. I'm fucking oof. It's funny, too, because she's actually pretty good, like, in the ring and stuff. She's just so low on the totem pole. <laughs> like, she just doesn't ever get any wins, ever. Well, it sucks to suck. We don't ever skip title matches, but the SWA or Future of Stardom, whichever title it was that was on the line between Utami and Leo, that one show that was the main event, we just like, why would we even watch that? It's the person in Stardom with the highest winning percentage over the last year versus the person in Stardom with the lowest winning percentage over the last year. Who the hell do you think is going to win? Yeah, exactly. Either way, though, this should be a fun tag team matchup. Yeah. Utami's new gear helps her a lot, I think. Yeah, agreed. Doesn't look like she's wearing goddamn suspenders anymore. So, you, who do you got winning this? Which team are you betting on? Because I'm totally in Oedo Tai's corner. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really, you know, it's it's pretty clearly going to be Oedo Tai because Leo is the only one in there that I can see eating a pin. All right, here we go. Yay! All right, Natsu! Natsu, you're so wonderful. Kagetsu! I don't know what that thing is. That she I think it's called a Psy. It's not, though. Kagetsu, they're saluting the crowd. It's not even sharp at the end or anything. Oh, Nozaki! I gotta remember that. Oh, Nozaki. It's not Onozaki, it's Onozaki. Onozaki. Well, again, see, and it's funny because with uh, with Stardom, I just pronounce whatever half of the name is easier for me. So I'll just keep her to Leo and Utami here. Yeah, and I, I think that it's like, it's most likely that any given name, the second syllable is going to be what gets emphasized. Like, Nakano... Uh, you know, Watanabe, you know, uh, Iwatani, like the second syllable consistently gets emphasized. And there was Z Priestley, but. Oh, oh wow. Oh, You're coming up with offensive nicknames already, bro. Damn. I thought it was pretty clever. It was. Uh, it was, definitely. And uh, now Jamie Hader on the attack here on Leo. 
Leo Onozaki. Yeah, Kagetsu, definitely proud of their handiwork. That's right, Kagetsu. Oh, and Otai, doing our half-assed best since forever. <laughs> they are the best. They are the worst. They are Oh, and Otai! And that's it. What a kick to be Priestley. I don't know who that girl in the uh, fuchsia shirt was with the red hair. I don't think it was Natsuko. And now Leo back in the ring. Was it Asami? And am I correct in saying, uh, first of all, I have no idea, but uh, nice suplex by You know by what, that might have been the new rookie that's injured. But uh, am I correct in saying, because I thought we heard it on one podcast that we listened to regarding, like, you know, Poro stuff and, and mainly stardom, uh, that Jamie Hayter is going to be here for six months. Well, not starting right now, but she is on a six-month tour. Yeah, I just you'd have to look back and find her first show to find out when she started it. Right. Nice scoop slam there by Kagetsu. Natsu there making the tag. While this is going on, I'm going to pull up Jamie Hayter's cage match and see if I can find her first match back in stardom. On two point of the sky, clubbing lows here. Uh, July 13th, it looks like it was. So she's going to be around until, it uh, looks like, like early to mid-January. Nice. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. She had some matches earlier on in the year, uh, like in February, January, and stuff like that. But that was only, it looks like it was only like a two-month tour. And we know that Jamie Hayter has done very well for herself in the five-star Grand Prix. If I'm not mistaken, she's undefeated. She's 2-0 and so far that in the matches that we've seen her in. I can yeah. tell you what her record is in, in real time because I think she's already had like six matches at this point. But um, Yeah, because it's... As far as uh, we know, she's 2-0, and yeah. Again, guys, you know we've been off the grid for a bit. Not our fault. Uh, Stardom's administrative side needed to get its shit together, and thankfully it seems like it did. And yeah. now, not Sue. Aleo in the corner there. Uh, but I was going to say, though, from what we've seen, you know that Jamie Hayter has pinned the Wonder of Stardom champion, Arisa Hoshiki. So she will get a future Wonder of Stardom title shot. And now Natsu looking to do damage, flipping the crowd off. Uh, and yep, nice. Beautiful. Very appropriate version of the uh, Bronco Buster. Just Absolutely. Totally innocent. Of the ropes. You see Jamie face off with B. Oh, that's going to be a hard hitting matchup. Yeah, that's on the last day, though. That is on the absolute last day of, of block competition. Nice elbow there by Leia. I got to give her credit for that. That had some impact. And speaking mm -hmm. of impact, here comes Utami. Shoulder blocks. Damn, Utami on a roll. Tommy clean and house here. Up. Kicks Jamie with Kagetsu's feet. Damn. Oh, oh Natsu. No. And then just plops Kagetsu on top of Natsu. Oh, my God. Elbow drop hey, from Natsu. Can you imagine? I mean, we're talking about the draft, and it's not until April, I know, but it's never too early to start thinking about possibilities if Utami would get recruited by Oedo Tai, having that kind of powerhouse on their team. That'd be amazing. Oh, the roll up from Natsu! Cradle, True! Cradle. Oh. oh, man. Nice little low-angle dropkick there from Natsu. That was beautiful. Tag Single into Jamie. Jamie back this in. This is a powerhouse matchup that I would like to see happen in the G or in the five star. There you go, uppercut there. Actually, it might. Uh, day four, it looks like. So not on either of today's shows, but the next show that they upload should have Utami versus Jamie on it. Oh, the urinal backbreaker there, and now no, oh, Tommy countered. What a German by Utami. Oh, my God, the snap on that German. Good Lord. And there's a judo throw. I don't know if you ever got around to watching Utami's protest, but she did say in that that she had years and years. I don't remember how many it was, but it was a lot of years of judo training as well. Yeah, I never did get around oh. to watching that. Oh, but I believe it. And there's the collision there between Jamie Hayter and it's really Tommy. interesting, man. Like they they've really put her through the ringer. Like and then that's that's not even like something specific to Utami either. That's just what the protest is. They just put you through the fucking ringer. Like they did so much conditioning. Like 
different kinds of push-ups and different kinds of like yoga yoga stuff and all kinds of crazy shit and then they do your their cardio testing and once you're through with all that and you're already completely blown up you end up having fucking shoot matches against other women like konami and and onozaki and stuff like that and then you have to put on two decent compelling actual wrestling matches like worked wrestling matches after you do the shoot matches it's right And B here, I mean, you see this matchup, Kagetsu versus B Priestley. And you know Kagetsu wants the World of Stardom title Whoa, back. Whoa, B with the... What the a Samoan driver. driver. Yeah, Samoan driver. And Oeno Tai coming to Kagetsu's <laughs> aid. Did you see that drop kick? I did, but then Jamie Hayter's Larry just took Utami out, but then neckbreaker there by Leo. Wow. Leo wants tag. Leo's feeling herself right now. Oh, no, Zaki here with a drop kick. Another drop kick. Leo here building that momentum. There's another drop kick. Damn, firing up, going after Kagetsu with these forearms. I feel like Leo feels like she has something to prove. I still think this is a mistake long term, but for now, she's getting that offense. I look at the drop kick out of the another corner. Another drop nice. kick again. Yeah, she, she's not one to sustain offense, but she has her spurts, and they're impressive. Forearm. Snap. She got it. No, Bulldog. Nice. Almost like a running cutter to me, brother. And now, elbow yeah, there. Yeah, you're right. That was a cutter because she had her in, like, the cravat. You're right. I got there by Kagetsu. Oh, wow. What? A, <laughs> well, for every drop kick Leo hit, I think Kagetsu just even the fucking score. The difference is in precision, man. Leo's drop kicks were all to the chest and the midsection. Kagetsu's one drop kick was to the face. Oh, but B, what a kick. Oh, and Utami. Oh, Such nice. Right almost. Oh. Leo would like the crucifix. Oh, my God. Can you imagine if Leo would have pinned Kagetsu? I think the <laughs> world would have ended. And the thing is, there was a very real danger of that happening, but Natsu there with the elbow. Jamie Hayter with the uppercut. Kagetsu with the forearm. Into the corner. What a high kick. What a boot by Natsu. And now Kagetsu. Oh, man. that That's it. No. Again, the pin broken up. Leo. And Kagetsu still legal. Going forward again. Leo, Leo countered. Leo. No way. Oh, my God. Off the ropes. Oh, the sleeper. Oh, that's going to do it. There's oh, a tap. my There's God. A tap. She tapped out almost right away. That was very Suzuki-esque, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. I have got to give Leo credit, though, man. She's stuck in this fucking thing. I mean, amazing. And again, there was even one point where she was probably going to pin Kagetsu had the pin not been broken up. So thank goodness for Oedo Tai's credibility that that happened. My oh, goodness. man. That was a pretty great match, actually. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, and I can confirm that it's another situation where it's just a empty video for the remainder of the video once they get to the back. So we can move on to our third match of the day. And our first block match of the day, Saki Kashima versus John's favorite insensitive feelings herder, Momo Watanabe. Let's go, Saki. Let's get it done. <laughs> Win with the revival. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, I just am of the expert opinion that Momo Watanabe doesn't deserve to have dreams. Certainly not any that come true. So let's go, Saki. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm at 39 seconds. Oh, uh, you know what? Um, that's right. We're not getting uh, any kind of um, subtitles, so we can just skip right to the uh, beginning of the match. Actually, all right. What's uh, what's that timestamp? Uh, let me uh, see if I can find it. All right. Yeah, I probably should have uh, done this preparation beforehand, but I also just was scatterbrained and didn't think of it. So it's all right, brother. Um. Let's just get to 4.30, I would say. It, you know, it's not like two seconds before the bell rings or anything, but it's after introductions have been made and everything. So let's just get to 4 minutes, 30 seconds. All right. 
All right, so uh, for those of you that have been paying attention, you already know, but if you haven't been, I'm going to say it out loud one more time before we get into this. You want to get to the third match on the 825 afternoon day. That is Saki Kashima, or it's probably Kashima. Saki Kashima versus Momo Watanabe. And uh, we are going to skip right to four minutes and 30 seconds because... You know, we, uh, we're going to skip past the pre-match promos and the entrances because of the fact that we're not getting any kind of subtitles on this. And uh, we hope that you're able to join us. John, you're ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. And this match important, we know. Man. The winner of the five-star Grand Prix. And there we go. Friends. Saki is willing to, but Momo is an insensitive feelings hurter, as we keep saying. Yeah, you're kind of the worst, Momo. And there we go. And we know the winner of the five-star Grand Prix gets a shot at the World of Stardom title. Oh, Saki! Two, nope. Crucifix. Fix, two, nope. Oh, she was going for revival there. In here by Momo, two. Oh, that was close. Kick there by Saki. Drop kick to the knee. That was smart. I love that Saki seems like a pretty serious wrestler, but she's got such a Yano style with the quick pins and shit. Like she's going after yeah. that knee, man. She's really I love it. the knee. Yeah, I mean, it's what Momo deserves. Uh yeah. You know. I mean, first the drop kick, then she lifted it up and slammed it down. Now she's got it wrapped up in the ropes and she drop kicked it again. Look at Saki Kachima. Two. Kick out there by Momo. You know, it's nice seeing Momo not have a leg to stand on, given that she burned every bridge she ever has anyway. I mean, sure, she's oh with Queen's God. Quest, but she's really with Momo Watanabe first and foremost. Nice dragon screw there. And now Saki was going to be like no. a tiger bob. Oh. She, went, she went for a, almost like a sit-out face buster, like an Angel's Wings kind of deal, but Momo escaped and got the shoot kick off, and now... She's thinking about an Irish whip. Saki reverses. Again. What a after, to the I foot love then. it. Bulldog. Now, nice bulldog. You're not going to challenge me on that bulldog. <laughs> no, no. That was definitely a bulldog all day oh, long. Oh, she just dropped knees on her knee. Wow. I did not expect Kashima to be this brutal today. This is pretty great. This is this is amazing, actually. She couldn't have picked a better person to do it to, too. I uh, know. <laughs> Double chicken wing. Oh, oh counter. Going for a half. Come on, Saki. There you go, Saki. Oh, crap. No, no. No, countered again. No, no. Momo. No, look at Kashima. Oh. Oh, no, no another big cat. I thought, she, I thought she might have been able to duck it, but. Oh, and there's the. Oh, and the Meteora. Two. And she kicks out. What they- oh, what's that, Momo? You think you're better than everybody else, and yet you're having trouble putting Saki away. Maybe you're not as good as you think you are. I, I they- don't know. <laughs> they have a name for um, Meteoras in stardom. Uh, Somato. They're called Somatos in stardom. Counter! Two! Two oh! Duck. Oh! Revival! Revival! That's going to be it! One! Two! Oh, she kicked out! And even Momo, I think, is a bit shocked she kicked out. Nice Thanks kick to the in head. the face. Yeah, Momo isn't as uh, airheady as Mayu. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, it's going to do it. Oh, jeez. Crossface chicken wing, brother. Yeah, this is going to do it. God damn it. <laughs> Ref's like, give up, give up, give up. And Saki's still strong. I mean, Saki's not, like, out of this, but it just feels oh. so inevitable. Oh, she's on. Yeah. But she's not on both shoulders. That's it. I, I think I saw the tap, but yeah, that's it. Wow. Still hate you, Momo. Really fun match, though, while it lasted. Man, yeah. Saki definitely has that Yano element just as far as, like, her matches are short, but they're really good whether she wins or loses. Yeah. All right, and I guess that's it for Momo. She's just bailing, man. She's headed right to the back. All right, next video. 
Azumi versus Hazaki. This is going to be good. Yes, this is going to be amazing. I have a deep respect for both of these women, unlike one of the competitors in the last match, so this should be fun. <laughs> and uh, going to get this all Your prepped absolute here. hate boner for Momo gives me life. Yeah, well, she deserves it. And now let's see here what timestamp we'll go to, because, again, like all these matches going forward aren't subtitled, right? So we're just going to skip yeah. all that. Yeah. Probably be good going to a similar timestamp each time. So yeah, let's see. I'm gonna say 4:25 this time around. Okay, I overshot it just a tad. There we go. <coughs> what did you go to 4:30? Yeah. Oh, you know what? No, we shouldn't go that far. Even I just saw I went to 4:25 and they did a drop kick. So no. Um. Let's see. Um, let's just go to four minutes even, actually. Okay. It's even seems to work. All right, I'm there. All right, excellent. And we are going to be doing this. And again, I want to remind everyone, we are on Azumi versus Hazaki from day three. It's it's the August 25th show. It's the afternoon show. It is the fourth match, I believe, now on this show. So, or actually, is it fourth or fifth? Let me, uh... It's the fourth match on this show. It is fourth, yeah. So it's the fourth match on this show. Uh, make sure to get there, and you can join us. Three, two, one. And, and actually, we are at four minutes even, so I just want to say that as well, just to make sure that everyone got that loud and clear. Three, two, one, go. And there is Azumi. And there's the bell. And then Azumi immediately with the drop kick. Irish whip, oh, reversed by Hazaki. Drop. Come on, Hazaki. Lariat. Azumi, sunset. F nice. Oh, I thought it was going to be a victory roll. Went for a shoot kick. Went for a PK. Azuki with the roll. No. Oh, here we go. Pin exchange. Azuki. Oh, Azumi kicked out early. There's the drop kick spot that I saw. It was 430. You know, this is a, this is a fascinating matchup in one way, Ashton, because as we've noted, Kagetsu is obsessed with Azumi. And it seems like Hazuki is kind of sick of the obsession. I don't think she has a problem with Azumi personally. I just think it's more that Kagetsu was I mean, so she might, considering Azumi was kind of a, a late adopter to Queen's Quest when Hazuki was there, and now Hazuki kind of hates everything that Queen's Quest ever stood for. So That's true. So a lot of interesting layers in this matchup. Springboard. Oh, wow, the speed. Uh, it's interesting, Hazuki. too, because you could even argue that Azumi is the reason Hazuki was drafted to Oodotai in the first place. Oh, wow. Yeah, because... In the first draft, uh, Io took Hazuki or uh, Azumi and Momo in the first two rounds and allowed Hazuki to be drafted by Oedo Tai before she could get to her. Ah. So Io, by by valuing Hazuki less than she valued Azumi and Momo, allowed Hazuki to get stolen by uh, Oedo Tai. Ah, interesting. Oh, it could be a decapitator here. Oh, oh yeah, I'll say it was. God, how are you breathing, Azumi? Oh, and the knee over the chest pin, but only a two count. But Azumi is a proud competitor, young as she is. She's old enough to know what pride is. And Hazuki there, the stomp to the back. Front face lock. Could be a scoop slam here. She got it. And another scoop slam there. And the senton. Oh, my God. What a senton. Two. And the kick out. Lots of history between these two, for sure. That's what makes this match so intriguing. And Hazuki yeah. now. Oh, when, my God. Yeah, when, uh, when Hazuki was um, high-speed champion, she came up with all kinds of stipulations. Basically saying, like, you can't challenge for the title if you don't have a six-pack and all this other shit. That pretty much narrowed the field of contenders down to Azumi and Starlight Kid, and that's about it. Yeah. So these two have faced plenty of times. And Azumi here would love to get a win over Hazuki here when the stakes go far beyond the high-speed title. We are talking about the World of Stardom Championship. If you can win this whole tournament...
And again, in our time, I believe this is only the third show that we're uh, we're covering here. And Azumi, I believe, is is one and one from what we've seen because she she beat Natsu, but I feel like she lost to Mayu. And now, so we'll see how she does here against Hazuki. Yeah. Forearm there. The uh, the three sort of original Queen's Quest members as almost like sisters, in a way. Right. So this is like the youngest sister trying to prove to the older sister that she's tough. What a boot to the face cover again. Kick out. <laughs> Which makes Momo the middle sister. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's perfect, is it not? Yeah. Don't middle siblings have a higher tendency of being sociopaths? Um, Not that I've siblings. heard. But I just thought, like... It's definitely you know, either middle or younger siblings have a higher tendency towards being sociopaths. It just makes me think of Jane Brady, you know, on the Brady Bunch. She was always the most neglected one, you know, in favor of Jan. Marcia. J oh, yeah, see, I didn't even know her name. That's how unimportant she was. Yeah. Same thing as you, Momo. I'll probably forget your name in a few years if I'm lucky. She, yeah, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll never be important, Momo. Just deal with it. <laughs> and Azumi. She's already the ace, okay? Yeah, in her own mind. She's and the Hazuki ace of the company, the and she's not even the leader of her own faction. Hazuki protecting her arm there. Come on, Hazuki! Scoop slam again there by Azumi. Oh, man. And oh, double stop stop. stop. God, That's man. huge. I don't know. I think Hazuki's in trouble here. What is she going for here now? Maybe another double stomp, but uh, Azumi seems a bit out of sorts after the first one. Oh and my she got god, it. she got another one! That might do it. One, two, and Hazuki kicks out. Oh, but Azumi, though, immediately. I love the that. I yeah, the love Fujiwara. I mean, this is a young girl, isn't even a veteran yet, and already she understands don't let the frustration get to you. Stay on your opponent. Oh! Oh, what a counter! What a, oh, what a what counter a, what a, what by Azumi! Oh, look at this! Pin! Two! Three! She oh my god! What? Oh my god. That's pretty awesome. Hey, I was rooting for Hazuki, but you know what Azumi showed me there? And it all came down. The biggest moment in that match, and you can say what you want, it was when she didn't get in her own head after the kick out by Hazuki of the two double stops. Yeah, the that moment was cool. Azumi followed up. I did not expect it. her to get more than two points in this. I thought she would beat Natsu and then go 0 and 8 for the rest of the tournament, but she picked up her second win already. That's awesome. Second win, and again, if I'm not mistaken, you know, three matches. So that's yeah, that's she's huge above 500 through three matches. I did not expect that. Yeah. Holy now we get to shit. our trios match. Iwatani versus Nakano, or Iwatani and Nakano and Saya Ida, your favorite. Ugh. Teaming up to uh, to take on Hanakimura, Konami, and Avery. I'm sorry about this, Mayu, but I'm going to have to go with TCS on this one. <laughs> I mean, they don't have Saya Ida on their team, right? They don't. Because, you know... Most people know that a malignancy isn't a good thing. And we do not have uh, subtitles here, so we can skip. I'm just going to try and find us a good timestamp to do that for. Make sure that I have my quality set. All right. All right, I'm seeing uh, introductions. Skip forward a little more. <laughs> Saya got one pack of streamers, John. She got one pack of them. Yeah, that's one more than she deserves. Oh, All right, fast forward to seven minutes, 15 seconds. All right. 
All right, I'm there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, we are on the 825 afternoon show. We are on the fifth match now. It is Mayu Iwatsuni, Tam Nakano, and Saya Ida versus Hanakimura, Konami, and Avery. We are at 7 minutes and 15 seconds on this video. Be sure to join us if you can. And we're going to do this thing. As soon as I say go, we're going to all hit play. Three, two, one, go. And referee now. Here we go. Hana is opting for a simple ponytail today rather than the pigtails that she's been rocking. Hana talking with Avery here. Avery going to start this match off with Avery and Saya Ida. There you go, John. Oh, go Avery. Destroyer. The crowd is very behind Ida. Mostly because we had a chant led by Starlight Kid started for Ida. Well, as history has shown us, just because a majority assents to something doesn't make it right, so... <laughs> no disagreement on my end, brother. And Avery there. In the wrist lock, but oh! Trying to escape there. I feel like she almost shoulder blocks Ida. Now, now she's got the leverage on it. <laughs> Avery be like... Time. Avery be like, torn fishnets are my aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. What a forearm there. I mean, it's not going to improve the face, but it'll improve the chances of TCS of winning this match. Forearm right back. Look at the size disparity between these two. Oh, Saya, You don't think you suck. That's adorable. Oh, nice wow. One forearm from there. Avery just takes her down. That's asserting your dominance on the fucking weak. I can tell you're very proud of Avery now. Roll out there. Oh, Avery kicked out. Oh, what a knee. Yes, Saya, maybe that'll teach you before you pick on somebody not your own size. <laughs> Tom and Mayu now. Oh, great. The talent. I love people are how you're involved. scolding the smaller person for not picking on someone their own size. <laughs> well, it's about time somebody had to. When are you going to learn not to play this game? <laughs> <laughs> Blockbuster there by Tom. It's fascinating to me, Saya, that you can finally get offense when the more talented people in your team bail you out. Yeah, that's true. Like Banks, we should just let you Rob crash kicks. and burn, Saya. Adam. And triple. Yeah, look at all. Saya, Saya's the kid in the Shaking Bay commercial, and I help! Shut up. Nobody <laughs> fucking cares. Go in your fucking room. Jesus Christ, this is why daddy drinks. And now Mayu there with the kick to Hana. Another kick there. What is that shake and bake commercial from again? I have no idea. That's not like a robot chicken satire thing. That's a real thing. No, I, I believe it was an actual commercial from my understanding. So like, yeah. Yeah, TCS beat the fuck out of them because everyone may be different and everyone may be special except Saya Exception meet rule. Avery isn't even technically in TCS. She's just kind of been adopted by them for the day. <laughs> well, I mean, she knows how to pick winners. I can respect her for that much more than I can say for fucking stars. So really, she's just lucky because she didn't necessarily pick. Like She just got put there. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Hana probably looked at her fishnet aesthetic and she was like, you're weird. I like you. Run with us. Probably, yeah. You're probably <laughs> right on that, honestly. <laughs> and now Saya being placed where she belongs in the audience seat. You forgot an important word there, though, John. It's not just a fishnet aesthetic. It's a torn fishnet aesthetic. Uh-uh. I stand corrected. That's that's what it's all about for, for Avery, yeah. Like Saya being corrected by her peers that she doesn't have any talent. <laughs> uh, Hana and Konami. Oh, Avery oh, isn't vigorously tall. That's just how tiny uh, Saya Ida is. Look at the double boot. Oh, oh, Elbow drops. What a beautiful double team. Avery can do Wait. a moon. Well, kind of. Not really. Not a great one. Yeah, mock her. <laughs> Wow, that's that wasn't nice at all, actually. There was some team unity going on, and you just broke it up because you I got still, offended. I loved Hana doing that little wiggle in Mayu's face right before she attacked her. <laughs> that had, like, the ultimate Nina 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 feel to it. And scoop slam there to Saya Ida. Oh, and in comes Konami, the technical wizard. And Hana's coming in just to fuck with the other two. <laughs> yes. I love it.
Get your triangle answer on Saya Ida, and here's some advice. Don't break the fucking hold after the match. <laughs> that was a kick to the back there. Count Another it! foot pin, yes. God damn it, Rev, count faster. getting literally zero respect both from her opponents and from you. I know. It's Again, it's what she deserves. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary here. Oh, and here's and how to more. handle her yes. business. Yes, Hana-chan, Yes! <laughs> And then nice the hair, hair throw. <laughs> oh, wow. I wasn't expecting then, her to turn up right now. You just then, keep living for this Saya Ida abuse, I can tell. I mean, Saya Ida being abused and bullied, it's like her whole life has led That's up to this. That's your aesthetic. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like her whole life has led up to this. And if she expected her life to be any better, shame on you. Suck Wes. And Hana now picking her up. And taking her out. Her face just ate all of that top turnbuckle. <laughs> and now Avery picking her up again. Oh, God. I hope she never makes the tag to the other side. I hope they just have to watch helplessly while Saya eats all the offense. And, oh, God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Abel says, I hope Saya Ida and Momo Watanabe win the tag titles just to see John implode. Why would you say that to me, Abel? I've done nothing but love you. This is uh, it's pretty sick on your part. I'm, it would be I'm even funnier if they beat Oedo Tai to win the titles. Wow, that's um, that's really hurtful by both of you. And, you know, <laughs> I'm, a low key, I respect it, but like high key, it's pretty gross. Yeah, the crowd uh, uh, says that you're really offended. Oh, double team here. Oh, Konami and Hana double cutter there by Tom. Avery. Oh, they, oh that was almost like a stunner by, uh, by, by Nakano. Tom feeling fired up. Triple drop kicks from stars. Look at Saya Ida being a part of it. You didn't earn that shit. Fuck you. And and Tom. I helped. <laughs> Avery kicking out. Oh, thank God. Actual talent. You got this, Mayu. I Look mean, at me, you, Mayu! I mean, Mayu, I really shouldn't say this to you, given your history, and it's kind of a scumbag thing for me to say, but you haven't been known to make the best choices with teammates, so I don't know. Maybe just reassess Saeeda for a second. Kick out there. What did John do that was gross this weekend, Abel? Oh, um, and uh, one one of our e feds, I fed him another person. So pretty much like cannibalism. I don't think Abel was into it too much. Although he claimed to love the meal before I told him what it was. So I don't know. Well, uh, Avery, did you just turn Abel into an unintentional cannibal? He liked it. Huh? Uh, <laughs> low angle forearm here. I'm, uh, I'm not going to lie, being more serious, Avery kind of sucks. <laughs> a, lot of, a, lot of her, a lot of her moves really haven't seemed to connect well, and she just seems kind of clunky in the ring. So, yeah, Let her go! Big boot, yeah! What a boot. I mean, oh, here comes her. a face wash! But Mayu's face is perfectly clean. Well, it's about to be scraped of its skin. Oh, my God. Two. Oh, wow. That was wow. close. Wow. Yeah, that was a pretty weak kick out there, Mayu. What are you doing giving me mini heart attacks like that? I was wrong well, with Abel you. Abel did specify that it was cooked. So. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely was. Was it and or was it medium rare? Um, I really didn't specify, so we'll just go with cooked. If he says it was cooked, we'll just we'll just go with that. But and to, to what level of doneness? I again, I didn't specify, so it's whatever you want it to be. And kick out there by Hanaki Mora. Low super kick there. <laughs> Mayu's super kick follow throughs are amazing. Mayu's amazing. That's true. Yeah, you're right. It's not one specific thing about her. It's just the whole package. Oh, look at Konami. Konami with the shoot kick to the gut. <laughs> wow! <laughs> she goes after Tam, and Saya just doesn't see it, and then she gets clocked from the side, too. God, Saya, why does everything you do suck so fucking hard? 
And Mayu, now what a drop kick to the back there by Avery. Huh? Oh, Anna. The powerhouse. Oh, no, they're they're, they're restraining. Vertical. Hell, that blood rushing to her brain. And there's the suplex. In one, two, no, Mayu kick. Great kick out there. I wish somebody would do like a delay vertical, but into a brain buster. Like, yeah. That would be some Mortal Kombat shit. Like, yeah. get all oh, the blood rushing and then Hana. they drop them. That's going to do the it. Grounded octopus. Oh, but here comes Star. What? Oh, God. And and Saya, Saya being a part of it, sticking her nose in it as per usual. Konami and Avery not playing very good defense. I mean, here's the thing. I, I think... Blame could go all around because they were playing good defense and you wasted it on a delayed vertical. And then you go for the big shit. And then by then, like, the forces have already kind of weakened. So That's they fair. need to up their resiliency and Hana needs a better sense of urgency. That's fair. I mean, she probably saves her sense of urgency for singles matches. We've already heard that she doesn't play well with others and she prefers singles over tag. And That's a, that's a fair counterpoint to my original fair point. Don't you tag Saya Ida. Come on, Mayu. Make better choices, girl. Come on. <laughs> Tom is literally on the corner. Like, actually, no, she's not. Get the fuck on the apron. The fuck are you doing? Oh, my. This. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. You deserve to lose. Come on, Konami. Fuck. No. What's happening? No. Yes. <laughs> the fuck is going on right now? Some bullshit. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Do we really need to inflate her sense of confidence? Like, why let this woman walk away with anything? Uh, let me know when Konami up. kicks out. Okay. Another drop kick there. And missed the kick. Come on, Konami. What the hell? Another drop kick there. And now we're going to get the pin. And there's the kick out. Awesome. No, you already tried this one. No. Yes. Shoot kick. God, would Suzuki please forearm her in the back of the fucking head, please? Jesus. Look at Sam going to town on Konami. Oh, and she takes out Anna and a You know what? Hell. You know what, Tam? Did from you think maybe you... Roundhouse uh, there from Tam? You gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be... No. Double oh super God. kick from Tam and Mayu? Here's an idea, Tam. Did you ever think that maybe you lost P-Chan because you support fucking losers like Saya? I mean, Thank maybe, you, maybe. Hana, for breaking it up. Yes. No. No. Oh, Itabashi! One, two. Oh, and Konami kicks out of Itabashi. That's rare. Oh, what's that? The hold that you conjured up fucking failed? Well, oh, wow. I mean, that was a man has kick right to the head. Nice half and half there. Right yes, ahead. Konami. Yeah, oh yes. Saw kick. Jesus Christ. How to 100 ref, it's over. Two. Yes. Yeah. It's slow there on that count there, ref. Almost like you didn't want to count three. Admit it, she fucking sucks. Now you, you lay there, you die, and you think about what you've done, you piece of crap. In that order? Wait, yes, in that fucking order. How does she and think I know, about what she's I, done I, after no, she's no, dead. See, no, no, see, see, I knew you were going to be a fucking smark about it. I was waiting. How can you think about something after she's died? Shut your face hole. If your priority is seriously about correcting my sentence structure rather than her lack of talent, that is the problem. Congratulations, TCS. At least somebody's doing their job correctly. And Saya, well, she's just doing the job, period. So I guess that's also fulfilling her function. <sighs> wow, you are turned up right now. I'm God damn right I am. I'm sick and tired of fucking seeing mediocrity prance around like it has any talent to fucking offer. Aim lower and accept your goddamn place. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's move on to our sixth match on this first show. We've got another uh, Blue Stars block match. Andras Miyagi versus Jungle Kiona. It's a battle of the 0 and 2 competitors. Uh, both of these women have lost both of their matches. Andras has taken losses to B Priestley and Jamie Hayter, so she just can't seem to pick up a win against the Brits. And then we've got Jungle who has taken losses to Utami. And did she even have a match on day two? She might not have. She might not have had a match on day two. So, she, so Jungle might actually just be 0-1. And yeah, we know 
she did lose to Utami in a match that, you know, we both know she really wanted to win. Mm, yeah, she's 0-1. That's what it is. She's- all right, brother. Well, when you uh, find a timestamp for us, you let us know, and we'll all get synced up, and we'll do this. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, uh, I've got to do that. Let's see if we go four minutes in. Oh, okay. Um, actually, don't go four minutes in. Go five minutes in. Exactly. Five minutes on the dot. All right. Let's see here. Is it just me or is Andras wearing pigtails? Uh, it definitely looks like it, yes. It's, uh, I am ready when you are, friend. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on Jungle Kiona versus Andras Miyagi. It is the sixth match of the 825 afternoon show. And we are at five minutes even, so it's actually a pretty easy thing for y'all to be able to remember to catch up with us. Make sure that you get there. We are going to start this thing when I say go. Three, two, one, go. And Andros now talking on the referee. I personally have Jungle winning this match, partner. What do you think? Hello? I'm here, man. I'm here. I said, I have Jungle winning this match, partner. What do you think? Uh, let me look at my predictions. I have a time limit draw, which we know won't happen because the timestamp is much shorter than 15 minutes. So, Yes. So if you could change your pick then and actually commit to somebody, who would you commit to? Um, Probably Andras at this point because – Interesting. I think she is kind of higher up in the uh, the stardom ranks than Jungle as far as, like, you know, Rossi's priority basically goes. Right. And she's 0-2, but the two women that she's lost to are both Gaijin. So I think her first win is going to come against another Japanese woman, and it just so happens that the first one she faces is Jungle. And now... Plus, got a put Jungle to the same record that Andros had coming into this match. That is true. Gregor Roman Knuckle here. Jungle Kiona showing that power. Yeah, very strong. Both of these women are, are basically powerhouses for their respective fashion factions. Yeah, there you see. Jungle actually got powered through by Andros. Andros of the ropes. Double shoulder blocks again. Nice. More. Oh, Jungle won that exchange. Okay. Oh, Jungle exploding there. Another shoulder block from Kiona. And now Jungle going after her. Oh, nice. Don't stop there. Popped her right in the face. Yeah, that was smooth. Well, maybe not smooth. Maybe smooth is not the word, but that was smart for sure. Oh, Jackie is here. Hi, Jackie. Yeah, she said she'd come in for the quick hello. And then she said Andy got dressed up as a schoolgirl for some reason. I forget what. I think maybe they visited a school or something. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I saw, I guess, on the, the pre-match um, promo, Jungle was wearing glasses, and she was calling herself, like, Instructor Jungle. Oh, that's adorable. Like a teacher, basically. And there you saw she's using erasers to distract Andras. Wow. Oh, my God. And there we see Rena watching the action and Leo. Yeah. Andras back in the ring here. And Andras in the corner there. Splash there by Jungle. Nice Ropes. splash there. Drop kick. Wow, that drop kick had some power behind it. Jeez. Low angle Larry there on the Nice on the with Andros leaning, yeah, against the bottom rope. Jungle feeling herself here. It's kind of a weird pin because it almost seemed like Andros is elevated. Now she's gonna try and stack her up. She really Still popped out of that, didn't she? She did. She's wearing her backpack, though. That's And Jungle finally taking it off for her. She's been wearing that most of this match. 
Oh, what a what? forearm by Jungle. What a shot that was. Uh, Andres, no. Jungle is dominating this match. Oh, but there's a DDT. Oh, DDT. That could change the tone of it right there. <laughs> Andres there. Stomping. I wasn't sure if she was going for a temper tantrum, but it seems like she was just doing that to get the crowd clapping along with her. Nice top rope neck breaker there. Muto style neck breaker. Nice, yeah. Shout out to the great Muda. And looks like a sleeper from my angle. Yep. Definitely a sleeper. And jungle Ooh. counter using that power to break out of the whole booth there by Andros off the ropes. Power slam by jungle. What a power slam by jungle. Beautifully done. Nice lariat there by jungle. Oh, and she got right into the pin too. Andros kicks out. And now, oh, jungle thinking about a jungle splash. She's going to get it, too, isn't she? Yep. Jungle. Nailed it. Oh, there it is. That's not going to do it all, I don't think. Andras kicking That's out. We fall. kick out. Jungle saying, that's it. She's going to end it. She wants to move. win, and that's what she's going for right away. Very smart. And Andras trying to break free of this hold. Yep. Oh, she got out. Irish whip into the... Oh, almost into the ref. Oh, Andras. Got her backpack. Oh. Referee taking the backpack now. Wait, what is... Oh, Andras covering Jungle's face. The cradle. And that's... A that does it. Jungle's in shock. She got caught. And now Andra's going to cover her head with it again. And now the sleeper. Hand raised. Andras with the victory. Nongo Kiona very frustrated. But fun match there. We'll see if Jungle can get back on track eventually, but... Tonight was not her night. And now we move on to uh, our main event of the day show of 825. Absolutely. Uh, Natsuko Tora versus Arisa Hoshiki. Yes. So, and Aaron has come out and said that this was his favorite match of this show. All right. Well, when you find a timestamp for us, brother, you let us know and we'll sync up and you know the deal. So yep, I will make an effort to get that done as quickly and efficiently as possible have to make sure that I correct my uh, quality and okay is 430 good maybe uh, let's see I'll oh, get yeah. there uh, it's a little early I'm gonna say five maybe minutes no um, 445 I guess all right Oh, you know what? That's too late. We might as well just do 4.30. Shit. Yeah, 4.30 is fine. I'm there. I'm ready when you guys are. I'm there. John's there. Just to remind everyone, we are on the 8.25 afternoon show. We are on the final match, the main event, the seventh match. It is Arisa Hoshiki versus Natsuko Tora. And we are at five, four minutes and 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. And Arisa getting checked and not go. Handshake? Not wanting to shake hands. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Bell. And right on the attack. Maybe what the attack. hilarious. Let's not forget, Natsuko's match against Kagetsu was pretty fucking crazy, too. Yeah, that's true. That's very true.
And this would be a huge win for Natsuko because, again, Arisa is the wonder of stardom champion, so she could position herself for a future title opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. And it would also... Uh, who uh, Did Arisa have a match on the day two? Yeah, she beat Utami. So if Natsuko would win this, it could actually set up for an interesting trend. Arisa would be 0-2 against Oedo Tai members because, remember, her first loss was against Jamie Hayter. Right. Uh, she she has a win against QQ and a loss against Oedotai. We'll see how she comes out here. Nats go here. Nats go is Oedotai, so this could be a second loss against Oedotai for Arisa. And Arisa representing stars, you know, it almost seems like these two, like I know every faction is kind of fighting with each other in a way, but it really does seem like they're two opposite poles. Yeah. In the same organization. So Arisa would love oh, to get over win. Boston uh, Crab here from Natsuko. We know Aaron is a huge Natsuko fan and I get it. You know, I, I think her technique is really solid. She's, she's got a mean streak to her that reminds me of like a Finley or a Regal like, and I, I definitely approve of it. Yeah, she's definitely taking joy in inflicting pain on Arisa here. You know, what I always loved about the Regals and the Finleys was not that they just had technique that was, you know, really solid and sound. But, you know, the, the, they just had a smash mouth, like, in your face, punch you in the mouth, make you count your teeth at the end of the night kind of style. Yeah. Natsuko definitely reminds me of that in a way. Yeah. Forearms there. Irish whip. What a drop kick. Let's go now. Stog and Arisa and now picking the leg. No, going for the other leg. Oh, nice nice kick. kick the inside of that leg. Natsuko. It's got that leg all wrapped up here. Oh, he's just clearly in a lot of pain here. No doubt. Oh my god, that's just gonna add to it. Referee now admonishing her. But Natsuko gonna keep on the attack. I gotta tell now, you, why I shouldn't can, she? I can praise Natsuko for targeting a leg, but I feel like she should be targeting the left leg and not the right leg. Right. That's her plant leg. That's the leg that she's going to have to jump off of. That's the leg that she has to put all of her weight on when she throws her kicks. All of her kicks that she throws are with her right foot. So she might wince in some pain after throwing them, but its uh, I don't think it's going to cause her to have any less effective kicks than she would otherwise. And now forearm there, forearm, forearm. Oh, Cole, wow. Natsuko there with the hair pull. Nice forearm there by Natsuko. Ropes. Oh, oh look at Arisa there with sleeper. that roll. Damn. Very, it's like very she just had smooth. enough and she's like, I am going on offense right now. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. Natsuko is like, no, not to die. <laughs> yeah. And I'll tell you, this has been a very physical matchup and a lot at stake for Arisa. One, you know, to kind of stay in the race and two, to, to uh, you know, kind of keep at bay a potential challenger, you know, to ward her off. Now let's see here. Arisa couldn't do the damage, completely couldn't win this match with that hold, but it was definitely a start laying the groundwork for potential victory. Yep. She's going to the outside, going to ascend. Oh, she's thinking about 1399 already. That misses. Natsuko got out of the way. Went for the running knee. Natsuko got out of the way of that. No, avoids it. Nice kick. Shoot, or roundhouse kick, rather. Oh, went for the Brazilian already. Natsuko off the rope. Spear. What a spear there. Yeah, Natsuko's spear is pretty, uh, pretty effective. Pretty deep. Didn't get the job done here, though. Got her up in a fireman's carry. 
Steamroller. Now heading up. Going all the way up to the top rope. What is Natsuko thinking here? Leg drop or splash? And it's a splash. A frog splash at that. Oh, but she's going right back up. She's not done. And another splash there. Oh, wow. She's going for the trifecta. Back up top is Natsuko. And another frog splash. And she connected with all three. That's got to be it. No. Check out. The kicks out. Barely gets her shoulder up there. Got her by the hair here. Scoop. No, Anissa lands on her feet. Roundhouse misses, or gets blocked, I should say. There's a lariat from Natsuko. Oh, and the seated senton on the ground. Pin two. Oh, no, he's a weak kick out, but a kick out nonetheless. She's having a really work to kick out here. Yeah, I mean, Natsuko's making her work for it. She's making her expend that energy, and that's just the kind of tenacious competitor Natsuko is. Oh, well, referee checking on Arisa to make sure she can continue here. And Arisa is down, and you can see the pain etched on her face. That's Ko now thinking about another scoop slam. And she got it this time. Picking her up. Ooh, sharp knee there to the face. Oh, and the knee pin. And again, Arisa with a little bit more emphatic of a kick out that time. And Nod's call. Going to go to the outside. Oh. Living in the ring skirt up. She's going for a I chair? I think she got a chair. Maybe she's going for multiple things because I feel like she's pulling stuff out, but she keeps going back in. That might be a table. If it's just a long table. Oh, wow. Rolling on Isa out. No, it was just a couple chairs, it looks like. Two chairs. And the scoop slam onto the chairs. And the referee admonishing Natsuko for it. Saying, like, I know you didn't, like, swing the chair, but you still use the chair. You know what you did. Yeah. I'm not going to disqualify you, but I got my eye on you. Yeah, and I said, just saw it was actually more than two chairs. It was at least three. I, still, I saw at least three there. Oh, Natsuko calling for the end here. She hits this. This is it. Oh, but she... Oh, what was that? I think she did. Swing bottom? Oh, the kick out. That did seem yeah. like a swing bottom, yeah. Yeah, it seemed a little little messed up from the angle that we saw, but maybe it was as intended. I don't know. Smart by Arisa to grab Natsuko to prevent her from going back up top. Oh, but she ate a kick for her troubles. Then again, if anyone knows how to take a kick, it's Arisa, former kickboxing champion. What a roundhouse kick! One, two, and the kick out. Yeah. Arisa here. Boom on that kick. Shit. That was, I know I called it a roundhouse kick, but that was practically a buzzsaw kick. That was a devastating kick all around, and now yeah. she's going to scale the, the ropes here, climb to the top. Thinking 1399, she's going to get it this time. And she got it. Dead. Damn. In one, two, no. Oh, no. Oh, by the throat. What? Uppercut. Let's go. Off the ropes. High knee there by Arisa. Another high knee against the ropes. Oh, and a, just a knee lift into the cheekbone. And there's the Brazilian. That's it. Pin. One. Two. Oh! That's a mistake. Sure. Just like what she did against Hazuki. It worked out against her. Let's see if it works out again here. She's going for the running knee. And that's it. She got it. Boom. One, two, three. Damn! Arisa with the dominant victory over Natsuko. Yeah, I guess wanting to send a message to the competitors that she has remaining. 
That was actually the only block match on this card that I got correct prediction wise. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, I had Saki over Momo, and I had uh, Azumi or Hazaki versus Azumi, and I had Andras Jungle versus uh, going to a draw. So this was the only match on the only block match on this show that I predicted correctly. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, all right, but yeah, that was a really really good match. Yeah, I enjoyed that immensely, and I would definitely are- agree with Aaron that that match was the match of this show. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Sure. Yeah. All right. Um, let me ask you something, brother, for the night shows, because I, I kind of forget from your intro. I don't know if you explained this or not. You probably did. Uh, did they get subtitles? Yes. Or no? we're just gonna keep yes. Su- okay, so they did. Okay, so we're just going to do 39 seconds. Yes. All right. All right. So I'm going to get to the tag match here. Okay. And we'll get into this. Let's see all right, I'm at 39 seconds. I might take a second because I've got to kind of get to the show on my phone. Navigation's a little bit less simplified on my phone compared to on a computer. That's all right, friend. We got Momo Watanabe, Hate You Momo, and Leo uh, against Avery and Rena. So I think we know who's winning this, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> yeah, that seems... Uh... Yeah, it does. All right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Leo and Rena can both take pins. I don't know, man. Uh, I know you uh, think, well, like, it's obvious that Avery is a shitter and that she's not going to win anything, but she's also a Gaijin, and, and that's, like... Gaijin in stardom are, like, the stardom equivalent to like nepotism in WWE. They always get pushed above their talent level. (laughs) Yeah. Maybe not always, but a lot of the time I shouldn't say always. Cause like, I mean, Jamie right now is kind of proof positive that it's not an always thing. Yeah, that's true. All right. I'm at 39 seconds. We are on the 825 show on the night show specifically on 825. We are on the first match. It is Rina and Avery versus Leo Onozaki and Momo Watanabe. Um, and I got to say it correctly. So Leo Onozaki and Momo Watanabe. John, are you ready? Let's do it, partner. All right, 39 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Uh, I just kept it simple. Yes, sir. Uh, it's the Osaka. It's the Osaka Night Show and my it's first tag, tag with Momo. Momo. We face Rena and Avery. Ikuza! Yeah, get that fake ass smile off your face. All right. <laughs> Listen to you. We're getting all offended about Momo's face. Well, yeah, because she's fake. Like, oh. everything about her is so insincere. Like, oh, let me smile and be bubbly and have a good time. Except when I lose, though, because I already think in my head that you suck, but when you expose me, I get all pissy about it because I can't admit that I was wrong. Shut up, Momo. <laughs> we got Avery and Rena in the ring now. Oh, my God. This is the second time in the same day that Avery's teaming up with TCS, though. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if she's going to stick around past the uh, the five-star, but if she does, she might get adopted by TCS. Although, I mean, imagine her having to wear bright colors. I don't know. She's gonna yeah, I don't know. Downtown. She's like, well, can I keep my torn fishnets? Sure. I was just like, we encourage it. <laughs> yeah. Now I hear... Bow down to the queen. <sighs> Y'all a bunch of poses. Between Charlotte and QQ, I really hate queens more than ever. And <laughs> I'm a leftist, so it was already pretty fucking high. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, okay, John, let's get through this without having a drinking problem. That'd be nice. Okay, I'm going to do it. I believe in you. Yeah, yeah, okay. And here we go. There is one match on this show that I predicted would go to a time limit draw, and that is Utami versus Konami. All right. Uh, 
And there is Leo. And there is the feelings herder. It's kind of crazy that Leo is a solid, like, six years older than Momo. Yeah, that's that actually is nuts. Leo, do you feel Momo secure from wrestling. tagging with Momo? I mean, what was that? How, no, no, you go. How long has Momo been wrestling? I was just going to say Momo's been wrestling for like five years now, four or five years. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, dude. And Leo is a rookie. I don't know, Leo. Do you feel comfortable tagging with Momo? I mean, you know her history, don't you? Like, you, you read up on her before you agreed to this match, right? You know, because... <laughs> Because I did. I, I saw it firsthand, actually. It's pretty traumatizing when you see it. Did you not bother to watch it? Did you not have the stomach for it? <sighs> uh, I'm sure dumb decision to make, not mine. So it's whatever. <laughs> you know, it's funny when they were cutting those opening promos and Leo's like, Oh, you know, it's my first tag with Momo. I want to win. You know, I know Momo tried to smile and make it seem like a fun thing, but you could just tell in her eyes. She was just thinking to herself, bitch, you better. Because, like, we know what happens when people don't meet Momo's standards. She just stabs him in the back. So, I don't know, Leo. Three years ago. Yeah, but, you know, you don't forget. That's like, well, I mean, actually, by that logic, it's like, oh, come on, guys. I murdered one person five years ago. <laughs> Get over it. I mean, so, look, first of all, she was 16 at the time. And second of all, there's a big difference between just turning your back on somebody in wrestling and actual real life murder. Not in my heart, there isn't. <laughs> and Leo now getting abused streamers. That's a bit questionable. I mean, maybe it was for the best because where would Mayu be if she hadn't experienced that much betrayal earlier on in her career? You know what? Every time I laugh at you now at Rocket League and you're like, don't laugh at me. I'm like, well, you don't know. Maybe it's for the best. Maybe I'm making you a better human being five years from now from all the times I'm laughing at you right now. Wow. <laughs> so just think about the shit that comes out of your mouth. And now, uh, <laughs> getting all those streamers. I love how you're preaching to me as if you're not the first person to say, oh, they need to get bullied more. I'm a complex human being, okay? I thought you, of all people, could appreciate nuance. Let's just code right. for I'm an asshole, get over it. <laughs> and now, referee checking everybody. You might want to give a thorough check to Momo, see where she's hiding the dagger this week. <laughs> and... Yeah, of course, she's going to volunteer to start, Leo. She doesn't trust you to carry the load. And it's going to be Momo and Rena starting off. I mean, you got to admit, it would be pretty hilarious to see Momo's reaction if Avery pins Leo. Oh, I fully expect Momo to beat the shit out of Leo if that happens. <laughs> Get her, Rena! Yes, Rena! Yes! You know I hate Momo when I'm I'm actually willing to root for the literal fucking child in the match. <laughs> oh, what a forearm to Avery. Jesus. Come on, Rena. You don't have to take this. This is literal child abuse. Fight back. It's not surprising to me that Momo would be the perpetrator. God, you're sick. Keg out there by Rena. Oh, my God. Keg to the bag there. Ugh. You almost got me crying here, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Wow, Momo. Fucking shameless over here. Yes, Rena. Oh, my God. That was brutal. Momo Wata Nah, bae, is in Nah, fam. I ain't never fucking with you. You can fuck right off. Rena there in the corner. Momo, and... drop kick to the chest. Wow. Okay. And one, cover. two. Come on, Rena, kick out there. Yes, Good Rena, job, Rena. Yeah. Way to show fighting spirit. Yeah. God, this is such a losing team, but it's Momo, so I'm hoping for a Mighty Ducks moment here. Yeah. Beat the Hawks. Come on, Avery, flying via. And I'll play out there with the scoop slam. <laughs> Another scoop slam. That's right, Leo. Take it nice and slow. Much to Momo's irritation. Kick out there by Rena. Good kick out though by Rena. Be defiant, Rena. You have to take this crap. <laughs> they went under. Nice shoot over there. And the tag to Avery. Oh, God, Avery, you suck. But I hope you do something well here. 
Here we go. Right. This could be the combination oh. that ends the match. If Team TCS is going to win this thing, this is going to be how right here. Oh, God, she licked her. Why are you licking face? Focus. Irish whoop in the opposite corner there. I mean, it's mind games, right? I guess, but like... I'm sorry, but if you need mind games to beat Leo Onazaki, you're in trouble. I, yeah, pretty much. Kick out there. The last name, and I'm starting to feel bad about it, but I'm going to try and get better. That makes one of us. Mutilation? She is! Yes! Cattle yeah. mutilation by Avery. What? Marina, cut Momo off. She doesn't fight fair. You know it. No, Damn it. they won't do that, dude. You never have to worry about Queen's Quest breaking up pins when Momo is there. Ah. Uh. That's a that's like a mandate ordered down from EO herself. Like ever since EO started QQ, they never broke up pins. And I think Momo is really the only one that really still stands by that. Maybe Azumi does as well. I don't know. Kick out there by Leo. But especially Momo is like, no, I'm not breaking up any pins. If you lose, it's your own damn fault. You need to get better, bitch. Well, Leo, you're screwed. Reina there. You got forearm. Yes, Reina. Forearm. Forearm. Back and forth. Reina and Leo, let's do this. Look at Momo acting like such a disinterested party. Meanwhile, Avery's actually rooting for her partner. Like a good partner. You soulless oh, sadist. Nope. Elbow? Nope. Well, Leo is still in the matchup. You're Charging. Just... Forearm. Snap. Nope. There's your cutter again. Yeah, running cutter out of the corner. Two. Kick out there by Rena. Kirby Freeman rooting for Rena to get the pin on Momo. Yes, Rena. Oh, now Momo coming in. Wow. Going after Avery on the apron. Wow, Momo, way to blindside somebody. And now she's playing defense. Yes, Reina, yes. Nice drop kick there to the knee. To the knee. Oh, nice Oklahoma roll. No, one. Oh, countered. No, 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 no. Yes. And by Reina, yes. two. By Leo, one, two. Reina, one, two. Kick out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Reina, come on. Get that octopus stretch in. Oh, she caught the arm. Nice leg stretch. Yes. Oh, crucifix. Oh, that was a horrible pin. No, two. Wow, there's Momo. Wow. wow. Leo crucifix. That's going to do it. Oh, no, Avery broke it up. Good job, Avery. Yes, Avery, keep my dream alive. Maybe if Momo had continued paying attention to Avery rather than taking her attention off of that to come try and help Leo get a winning pin. Jeez. Crap, Momo just got tagged in. There's a shoot kick. Oh my god, this is not good. Missed the roundhouse. Rena, forearms, forearms, forearms. Rena, if you beat Momo right here, I will love you forever, and I'm not even kidding. What a drop kick by Momo. Oh, son of a bitch. She's just like, one day you will learn how to throw these. No, no, oh, yes, yes, Small package, yes, small no. package, too. Oh. oh. God damn it. Come on, Rena. Octopus. Oh, one for an STO. Momo, too strong, though. Too strong, my ass. Do it again. Oh, crap. Nice. Oh, crap. Wow, she just powered her down. Two. Oh, she still kicked out? Yep. Wow, what? Yeah, that was like a true Uranage, too. I feel like we've actually been seeing, like, Rina and Hina grow as performers. It's in the last few shows that we've been watching. It's pretty amazing, actually. Nice uppercut there by Leo. Shoot kick. Running shoot kick by Momo. Wow, you had to double team her just Ooh. to get a pick. Come on, kick out, Rina. Kick out. Yes. Oh, what's that, Momo? Oh, what's that? Your child abuse isn't effective enough? Oh, what a shock. Counter it, Rena. Counter it, Rena. Yes. Roll up. Two. Two. Oh, I thought that might have actually been it. Oh, octopus. she's going for it. She's going for the octopus. Oh, is she going to get it? Is she going to get it? She got it. She got it. She's got it locked in. Uh, oh, she's transitioning into a roll up. One. Two, and Momo kicks. Oh, that was probably the last gasp. Now she's going to hit this STO. She got, she got it. She's measuring Momo, but Gross. what? Oh, but Leo, oh, wow, what? really? Oh, Momo, <laughs> oh, she missed. Apron. What? Small package. Crap. Two. 
Momo kicks out. Oh, wow. Wow. Come on, Rena. Look at Rena holding her own against Momo fucking Watanabe. Get all the forearms. Back slide. Get the bridge. Get the bridge. Yes. Two. Oh, I wanted it so bad. So did I, dude. Oh, Momo, I wanted to laugh at you so hard for losing to a child, and that's the beginning and the end right there. Yes, it is. But before I become complete, uh, there, yeah, that's it. That's it. Wow. Um, I will say this though on a serious. Well, I mean, first of all, fuck you, Momo Watanabe. But second of all, <laughs> she won uh, running Samato. Jesus. The, I'm telling you, man, we really have seen genuine growth from from Hina and especially Rena. I feel like the I'm last few shows we watched. I've seen it in Rena since since like the first match that we watched of her. I was like, well, out of the three. You know, the judo girls, the youngest girls, the, you know, the twins and then uh, Hanan, she stood out the most to me. And I'll tell you, like, that was the best performance I've seen her in to date yep. since we've started covering stardom. That was amazing. Like, <laughs> she unironically might be a better wrestler than Avery right now. <laughs> I think she is. No fucking why. <laughs> Oh, man, dude, when she got that backslide bridge spot, I actually thought, are they going to give her the upset of a fucking lifetime? So did I, dude, so did I. I had oh, my. I was like, oh, shit, is this about to happen? And then it did. And I, ha- I have to continue giving Stardom credit for that. I think more than any other promotion, maybe, and I'd say even maybe even more than New Japan, but that would be its closest competition. They really know how to do near falls. Like, really know how, to the point where I feel like even if a match is a foregone conclusion, they can suck me in that the other side might win. So that's that's really cool. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our second matchup here. Thank you. Thank you. I have uh, allergies to Momo's bullshit, I guess. So <laughs> let's get into our next matchup. Yes, here. we are getting into our second matchup here, which is another tag match. We've got Adi Sahoshiki, Starlight Kid, and Saya Ida taking on pretty much the three most powerful members of Oro Tai Kagetsu, Hazuki, and Andras. I'm guessing you're going to get to see Ida eat a pin here today, John. That makes me happy. <laughs> All right. Um, you already know what show we're on. John, are you at 39 seconds? Yes. All right. Everyone make sure you get to 39 seconds, and we're going to get into this right now. Three, two, one, go. Os- the Osaka Night Show. Yay. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's taking she on this had she had no earlier. Which she won. Yeah. I'm glad you're traumatized. Don't you do the fucking pose, Zaya. You haven't earned the right. You put she those hands do down. Right. I love it. I'm just looking away. I just does not give a shit about this grandstanding, flamboyant, like showbiz shit. Azuki, I love you so much and do your best, okay? Hate you, I'm sorry. sure she will. Uh, Ass best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there is Kagetsu. This should be an interesting six woman tag, though. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Absolutely. Excuse me. So we agree that because Saya Ida's dead weight on any team she's a part of, Oedotai is winning this? Yes, yes. That's awesome. actually pretty much the exact reasoning on my end, for sure. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm not backing off of it either. Good. That makes two of us. Yeah. Bully the shit out of them. God, it's so fucking amazing being an asshole to others. <laughs> All right. <sighs> All right, Oedo Tile, let's see what you got today. Kirby pointing out Arisa is a foot taller than the other two on her team. I don't know about a foot, but she's probably got like seven or eight inches on either one of them because 
I mean, Starlight Kid is listed at 5'11". Ida, or not 5'11", 4'11", sorry, 4'11". Ida, I can't imagine her being any taller than like 4'10", maybe even 4'9". And Arisa is like 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, somewhere around there. Right. Arisa's one of the taller girls in Stardom, especially one of the taller native Jap- Japanese girls. Because like most of the uh, gaijin that they bring in are on the taller side relative to the average height of the roster, but... As far as the Japanese girls go, Arisa is definitely one of the taller ones. Right. Like, I would say the average height on the stardom roster is like 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, and we got stars in the ring now. What did I just say, Saya? Put your goddamn hands down. She's still not doing it right. Yeah, go to your goddamn room. Doing the freaking stars pose like you earned that shit. You weren't here for the for the tough times. You weren't here when Mayu got betrayed. What the hell's wrong with you? Stars wasn't a thing back then. Well, that's her problem. Stars literally just became a, th- a thing in, like, mid-2018. And both teams in the <laughs> ring now. about it? Saya was drafted into Stars during the first draft that Stars even existed. So... Well, Stars is probably like most NFL teams based on your reactions. They don't know how to draft for shit. I mean, it's the last pick, I think, so. (laughs) Well, I mean, I guess better to scrape the bottom of the barrel. I mean, but then again, I almost feel like you cut a hole in a barrel and just dug your hand in that hole, and then you put Saya I mean, yeah, that's the thing. Like, they picked Saya when, I don't know, like, Rina was available, when... Kaurio Neyama, a.k.a. Death Yamasan, was available. Like they, Pretty sure a Pet Rock was available. You know, I mean, yeah, that that totally. Away. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you'd think, like, wow, I, I'm in the same faction as as, as Tana, you know, Kano and, and fucking Mayu Iwatani. This is really my chance to get better. And and no, you just <laughs> sucks to suck. And there is a wet tie. You actually... Uh... It's funny, you're actually seeing Ida currently teaming up with Stars' first two draft picks this year. They went uh, Starlight Kid in the first, and then Arisa, I believe, was the second pick. Starlight Kid, one of somebody that's quickly growing on me. That's who you give streamer to. Uh, yes, crowd, yes. All the streamers. Yeah. All right, Sai, I'm going to ask you not to shit the bed in this match for your team because I actually like your teammates for the most part. So, you know, maybe don't drag them down with you. Yeah, it's funny because on both teams, I have the two people that I really like and then the one person I don't because I really don't care for Andras Miyagi. But I do like her over Saya Ida, so that's where I guess like my favoritism tilts towards Oedo Tai. Right. Then I really like Hagetsu and Hazuki, and I really like Arisa and Starlight Kid. So. so like, if you were picking favorites in just this match, it would be... I'm going to try and guess here. It would be Hazuki 1, Kagetsu 2, Starlight 3, Arisa 4, Andras 5, Ida 6, right? I, I think you've got that pretty much right, but I would honestly switch around uh, Starlight Kid and Kagetsu. I really like Starlight. I think she's oh, adorable. Nice. I, I kind of have that protectiveness of her, and I want to see her succeed. So, nice so her and Mayu here. on the same faction is perfect. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You can protect them both at the same time. And how's the key kicks out there? And they can nice, protect each kick. other. Oh, my God. Oh, Odo Tai doing Odo Tai things. Yes, I love it. Kai gets you very proud of her handiwork there. Oh, she's got Starlight Kid by the mask. Yeah, it's interesting because normally they go by the hair, but. I mean, if you pull them by the mask, they're going to do their best to keep the mask from coming off because they're protective of their identity. Yes, absolutely. 
And Kaigetsu just dragging her all the way up the stairs there. And Hazuki and Saya. <laughs> This character. is why Hazuki is your favorite. <laughs> Absolutely. Bullying is the best. <laughs> what a throw there. Oh, here comes the big boot. Face wash here. Poor kid, man. Oh, and there oh it. my God. Tagging there to Kagetsu. Oh, water spray time. Taking her up by the mask. Here it comes. Yep. There it is. Oh, poor Starlight Kid. Now go get the other two. Yeah. And the ref. There's the ref. No one's over on the apron for stars, though, so she's just going to have to swallow the rest of that water, I guess. It's always nice to be hydrated mid-match. Scoop slam there. Multiple benefits. Oh yes. Kick out there. There. Oh, wow. Kagetsu. And Andra's kind of towering over everybody. <laughs> She's literally just standing there watching as stars can't even attempt to make it into the ring. Yeah, sucks for you, Saya. And now, oh, Hazuki playing great defense there. Saya tried getting in the ring like a noob, and Hazuki schooled her immediately. Look at how bad. Bent Starlight Kid was there. Wow. Amazing. That was a really intense Boston Crab. Jesus. You don't see him that extreme very often. No, no, you do not. And now Starlight. Irish whipped in the opposite corner. There's a forearm there. And oh. what a no, Miss Sledge. Rana. Nice job, Sledge. Nice Rana there. Nice Sledge bread number two. And Starlight now moves. Salt. Salt. Nailed it. Perfect. Great job. Two and only a two count. Saya, what a forearm there. Drop kick to the knee. Shoot kick from Arisa. More. Three. Four. Five. Six. Takes her down. Beautifully done. Arisa picking Andras up there. Oh, no. Oh, the eye's getting raked there. Hazuki now springboard. Oh, drop kick there by Saya. Yeah, Hazuki, eat it. That's another drop kick there. Hazuki, though, not to be deterred. High kick there by Arisa. Starlight, there's the crossbody. No. Break up there. Hazuki still legal. Saya still legal. Hazuki in the corner. Oh, missed the drop kick. Yes, Hazuki. Forearm there. What a boot. Kick to the back of the head. Inverted lumb lower there. Oh, the breakup by Starlight Kid. 
Good save, Starlight. I believe Ida was the first person to even need saving because, of course, she was. Three count. Yes. She just beat her. Was that a, was that even a brain buster? Or was that just a vertical suplex? I feel like that was a brain buster. Okay. Well, I'm just amazed that Sai had any brain to bust. Uh, okay, gets you back in the ring. I mean, if you think about it, the smaller your brain, the more it gets rattled around in your skull when you get dropped on it. Oh, so clearly Hazuki, being a, the brilliant competitor that she is, she just knew the right move just to put Saya down for good. Yeah. Now, as I tell you, Saya, go to your goddamn room, lay there, think about it, and then die. See, I even did it in the correct order. So be, oh, but how can you? Yeah, yeah. Let's focus on the sucking talent. And now Hazuki going to take her leave. I'm so glad you give it back to me twofold. Yeah. And now we've got our first uh, block match up here, the Red Stars block. Tom versus Azumi. And Ashton, I mean, like you said, man, you said in, in the day show when Azumi got the uh, shocking victory there that, uh, yeah, you expected her to just not win a single match the rest of the tournament after her win against Natsu. So, I don't know. I feel like this match is more of a toss-up than it might have been originally. Yeah. How, are you, uh, how are you feeling about it? I am still picking Tam to win. Let me actually pull up my, my uh, predictions. The old spreadsheet. There you go. Uh, fill in that. Oh, no, actually, that wasn't even a block match. Never mind. Um, yes, I did predict Tam to win this match, so that is an official thing. All right. I'm going to get to 39 seconds. Yep, I'm already at 39 seconds. Everyone, make sure that you get to 39 seconds as well on the Azumi versus Tim Nakano match from the 825 Night Show. John, whenever you're ready, I can count us down and we can get into this. Count us down, brother. Three, two, one, go. Tonight, Azumi faces Tam Nakano. Never faced her in a trios tag match, and it's our first single, so I'm not sure what to expect. Huh. Beat up this old hag to get my sixth point. I'll do my best. Wow. Um. Okay. What is she doing? Oh my god. She's so fucking cute. I can't handle it. She's a button. Oh wow. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I adore Tam. She's the best. I honestly want to say something really mean, but I think her cuteness has rendered me unable to do so. <laughs> Fuck. What what even was that? What you mean other than fucking adorable? What more does it need to be? <laughs> um I, I don't even know what's happening. Anymore. <laughs> John's just uh, like, okay. shit, you're right. Stop doing that. <laughs> I feel like I feel like my brain is broken, so yeah. Let's, you just uh, haven't experienced cuteness on that level since the last time you saw Kyrie. That's true. And God, Kyrie hasn't been on my TV in what feels like forever, so I kinda needed it. So Alright, Tam. Thanks. But I gotta tell you, man, if I'm being truthful with you, I'm not counting Azumi out of this match. Not after her beating Hazuki. Oh, man. Tam's intro to her theme song is so hype. Yeah, it is. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, girl, there she is. She's feeling herself. Oh, that pirouette during the music. Oh, that was so cool. And who can blame you, Kirby? It was trance-inducing. And Tam here. 
Tam's record, she's she's what right now? She oh two and oh wow. I believe. Oh right. uh, no, one and one and oh. Or one and, wait, let me look. Did she even have to match? Um Oh, she lost to Hana on the first day, so she's one and one. That's what it is. I figured she was at five hundred, but with Tam being a butterfly, maybe she can fly to two and one, and who knows? Maybe you can even fly to Peach and Oh wait. That's my dick comment. There we go. I'm back. I'm back. Thanks. She had you shook for a minute, though. She did. Uh, we almost lost me. It would have been a tragedy for us all. We almost lost me, he said. <laughs> How's it, me? Hey, she really She's definitely streamers. impressed me in this tournament. Her beating Hazuki. Why is Azumi not more popular? I don't get it. Give it time. I'm sure it'll come. Fucking Rossi in that documentary was like, oh, she has the face of an adult. It's like, what an asshole. Yeah, Rossi's kind of a dick. He literally basically just said she has a fucking old face. I sometimes wonder if Rossi's like, like on a much lesser scale, obviously, given Stardom's operation, but if he's almost like a Japanese Vince. I worry about that sometimes. And well, because Tam he actually Mary. cares about trying to make stars and make money with them, whereas Vince just wants the product to be the, the overarching star. Right. Oh, we're not going to get a handshake. Dropkick there from Azumi immediately. Irish whip? No, Tam resisting. She might be slow, but she is strong. <laughs> yeah. I love how Azumi was putting her entire body into trying that Irish whip. Oh, she got it that time, but it was reversed. Lariat misses from Tam. Back elbow misses. Azumi sent into the corner. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Ducks the Lariat. Goes for a run. Uh, catches oh, the power. She's going to power bomb her. No, Azumi lands on her feet. Kick to the knee. Snapmare. Shoot kick to the back. What a shoot kick. And she flipped her off. <laughs> God, I want subtitles for the trash talk. <laughs> oh, nice nightmare takeover. Oh, Tam has kicks too. What a kick to the back. Yeah, her kick. She's kind of known for her kicks too. Oh, we're going to just go right back. Azumi's going to do it. Oh, that was weak sauce, Azumi. What are you doing? Oh, and, and Tam, I wanted to give it back to her again. Here we go again. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. And Tam kind of talking shit. Oh, like, another one, and another one, and another, and another, and another, and another. Damn, this butterfly oh, got a bite. Oh, and the stairs of the PK, they're right to the chest. Oh, she's gonna bridge out. Oh, she does. One. Tam. Oh, but look at Asumi reverses her momentum splash. Tam bridges out of it at one. Asumi with a stomp. Nice. That was smart by Asumi. Yeah, it was. She's a smart wrestler, man. She's like the second or third most experienced in ring performer on the fucking roster right now. <laughs> oh, point at Tam. Nice drop kick in the corner. That's true, actually. She's like, I think she's third. I think she's the third most experienced in-ring performer on the roster right now. At 16 years old. Because the only girls on the roster that have been wrestling longer than Azumi are Kagetsu and Mayu. That's it. Because even, like, Arisa debuted at the same time as Mayu, but she took time off, so she doesn't have the same amount of experience. Oh, Azumi, what an arm drag. Avalanche arm drag there. Oh, and now she's going up top. She wants the stomp. That could be the beginning of the end. Because we know Hazuki kicked oh, out of nope. two stomps. No. Tam got out of the way. Tam didn't even Spin get kick. hit. Tam. Saito. Nicely done. Yep. Two. And Azumi kicks out emphatically. Tam now stomped to the back there. Off the ropes. Knee. Oh, wow. Knees to the back. Oh, 
Oh, it went for the leg sweep, but Tam jumped out of the way. Oh, man, ducking each other's roundhouse kicks. There's a roundhouse kick. And another one from Azumi. Both connected. Off the ropes. He's thinking Rana. No, thinking Armbar, Fujiwara. That might be the beginning of the end right there. Now going for the seated Fujiwara. Oh, no, Tam's reversing. She's trying at least. No. No. Azumi has it locked in pretty well. If Azumi can bridge this, it's over. She's going to get to six no, points. No, Tam reversed. Bridge two. Woo, that was close. I thought she had her. Azumi now. Sunset. Oh, wait, wait. Trying to struggle to get over there. Tam with the pin. Two. No. Azumi with the pin. Two. No. Tam. Two. Azumi with the shoot in the half. Two. Oh, man. Tam Tam can't keep up with her, man. She says she's a slow speed wrestler and everything. Kicked out. Oh, I thought that was going to be three there. And Azumi trying to stay on the attack here. Off the ropes. Nice Rana. Oh, Tam rolled through, though. Wrist control into the shoot kick. Did she? Is she dabbing right now? I couldn't tell. Either a dab or, or just a pose that she wanted to do to signal for the end. Oh, Azumi, though, with a victory roll. Oh, into the turnbuckle. Wait a minute. She doesn't, she doesn't go for the Roundhouse tab. kick from Tam. Oh, that might have been a mistake. And now. Bridge. That's it. Oh, my God. God, two. That's it. Damn. Wow. I'll tell you, Azumi to me has had some of the best matches all tournament. I I constantly get invested in her matches. I, I think next time we do a, a five fave five, which won't be for a little while, if, if Azumi keeps on this trajectory, she's gonna rank really high for me. That girl has a shit ton of promise. Yeah. Nothing against Tam though. I like Tam. You know, Tam, she's certainly not in Momo or Saya territory for me. I, I'm cool. I mean, with she's Tam. also got more than a decade on uh, Azumi as far as age goes. Yeah. Tam, I, I think she might. She's either late twenties or early thirties, even. Yeah. That was just a really fun and match. Like, she had like multiple careers. <laughs> yeah, she's listed as thirty-one years old. So. Yeah, she had multiple careers before becoming a wrestler. You know, she, she's, she's got a life story to tell, man. Like, she's a former idol. She's a registered pyrotechnician. Like, she's got some shit going on. And hell, even before she came to stardom, she was in all kinds of deathmatch wrestling. So she's just a, a renaissance woman, you know? Yeah, absolutely, brother. She's got her hands in a little bit of everything. Up next, though, we've got Hana Kimura versus Saki Kashima. Uh, I forget Hannah. I think Hannah just doesn't respect Saki at all. Like she sees her as like not even a real wrestler. I don't know if Hannah respects anyone. Um, so I'm um, I'm ready for this. I'm at 39 seconds. Really short match again, proving that Saki's kind of the Ishii or excuse me, the Toriano of stardom. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, this is ridiculously short. So I'm ready to do. Oh my god! Look at Hannah with her fucking adorable hair. Oh my god. She is beautiful. These, these Absolutely. pink braids, man. These pink braids. I can't get over it. Absolutely. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to get to 39 seconds on Hana Kimura versus Saki Kashima. We are going to get into this. Three, two, one, go. Twinkle. This is my five star. That freaking bean sprout. I think they say bean sprout, but I almost want to say they probably mean string bean because of how like skinny Saki is. I'm going to kill her. I'm going to kill her in seconds. <laughs> yes, sir. <sa! laughs> Saki. So it's my third official match. This is Kimura Hana. And we've had a singles match before. And she owned her face. And she's about to do it again. Do you like your matches to be quick? This way you have more time to try and stop Natsu from taking your song, which, I mean, let's be honest, she just made it better anyway, so. Yeah, she did. They actually have a match in this five-star. I can't wait to hear Natsu sing again. Yeah. I 
I, I honestly fully expect Hana to get the win here. I've really loved watching her in the uh, five star Grand Prix. Yeah, she's a hoss, man. It's funny because she's this like super fit hot girl, and yet she wrestles like a fucking hoss. Yeah. Now you're going to die. <laughs> Arena holding the rope for Hana. Yeah, Arena is Hana's biggest fan, man. I don't know, man. Maybe Hana is trying to recruit Avery. She's wearing fishnets under those pants. Ha! <laughs> You see that, right? I I do now, yeah. Yeah. She's just like, shout out to my girl Avery, who's going to be the newest member of S- uh, TCS when she decides to join us. Oh, and here comes Saki. With Natsu's song. Even if this match isn't the best, it's still the best, like two of the best ma- uh, theme songs in Sardom for sure. Yeah. I would say like maybe even the top two. With Hazuki being the only real contender for number two, maybe. Ohana rocking out to it in the ring. Yes! (laughs) I love it. Yes, Hana, yes. Oh, and Hana right on the attack. (laughs) Man, this girl about to get abused. Bell rang. No introductions. Vertical suplex. Oh. Oh, she's got, oh, wait, oh, damn. Oh, no, revival. no, Kick out, no. Hannah. Kick out, please. Oh, oh come on. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not going after the ref. <laughs> wow, I'm so heartbroken. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, is that a mic? Um, no, it's not a mic. Oh, it's a stopwatch. How long did it take for her to win? I don't know. Eight seconds. Okay. Eight seconds. Holy God. Oh, yes. 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 Beat her down, Hana. Beat her down. (laughs) Get her into the hydrangea and just torture her ass. Wasn't Hana undefeated before this match? Yes. God damn it. She's now two and one. Saki, you're on my shit list. I didn't want (laughs) it to be this way, but you did this to yourself. (laughs) Hana's next match isn't until day five. She was on thin ice already when she beat Mayu, but this, nah, you're dead to me, fam. And her next match is actually against Avery, so. Ugh. Yeah, you know what? Let's just move on to the next match. I'm over this. (laughs) Unfreaking believable. All right, I'm at 39 seconds for match. Come on, man. Give her some credit. She did a good job. I don't have to do anything, sir. I will not. I didn't say you had to. It's merely a request. Jeez. All right, we got Jamie Hayter versus Natsuko Tora. Yeah, Oedo Tai in fighting. Yeah. So I am excited to see who will win this one. I'm going with, uh, I'll actually go with Natsuko on this one. Nice. So we'll see. Um, I went with Jamie in my predictions, so. All right. I'm ready when you are. All right. Jamie Hayter versus Natsuko Tora. 39 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Jamie looks pretty with her hair straight like that. She's really happy, too. I got a little present for her in the oh, middle finger. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> She's the best. I'm going to need you to maintain that energy because that was fucking iconic behavior. You just exhibited right there. <laughs> oh, she called Jamie one of her favorite people. She says she's sad if she wins and sad if I win. Oh. Are you stupid? Okay. I'm definitely she going turned to... it on there at the end. Okay. They had me in the first half. <laughs> I 
was gonna, I was gonna be like, have me in the first half. I'm not gonna lie. But I hope they do hug after the match. I, I feel like there was some sincerity there. Natsuko can deny it all she wants. She cares. We're Brandon Best saying Natsuko gonna get this work. <laughs> Brandon <sighs> realize what that used to mean in this chat, right? <laughs> yeah, he's just taking it back from Kid Coheed. Coheed only shows up these days for AEW shows so that he can get angry at us for not liking Cody. <laughs> God, he sucks so bad. Not you, Kid Cody. We love you. Just Cody. Yeah. Yeah, Jamie, get on in there. Jamie, I've really enjoyed it. Again, definitely, it, it's starting to happen for me where I definitely feel more of a connection to stardom, a connection to a lot of the talent. Jamie Hayter being one of them, I, I think she's great, great talent. Damn, she's really disrespecting that EVE International title. Yeah. Tora Natsuko! Uh, it's a shame Aaron isn't here anymore. He said he had to leave at 5.30, so he's definitely not here anymore, but I know he loves Natsuko. Yeah, and I'm starting to see why, man. I, I don't like Natsuko as much as I love Hazuki, and I know Aaron would say the same. Like, Hazuki's his number one. Yeah, but um, Natsuko is his number two in order to tie. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't say that Natsuko was my number two, but I, she is starting She's to probably grow probably like my number way. six in order to tie. <laughs> like, I would yeah. just ranked above Miyagi, maybe. I would have number one would be Hazuki, two would probably be Jamie, or may, actually, no, two would be Natsu. Three would be Jamie. Four would be Kagetsu. And then, yeah, Natsuko five and Andra six. So there you go. Am I forgetting someone? I feel like I'm forgetting someone. I mean, if you are, they probably deserve it, so. Introductions here. No, I agree with you, Brandon. I definitely I definitely agree that she's the best gaijin that they've had. And, like, I really like Zoe Lucas and Bobby Tyler both, especially Zoe. But Jamie's better than both of them, especially in the ring. And I love her look too. Like, uh, yeah, she, she did, looks great. I, I'm glad she she's just checks everybody. Of I just and, and we've said it before, so it's not novel. But again, like Jamie Hader is just everything I think I wanted Paige to be, and yeah. so to be able to really experience it, it just feels so good. Natsuko like, kind of reminds me low key of Asuka. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, just a little. Like not, not like, not like to a crazy degree. Like the way that Jamie reminds me of Paige when she was in her prime, but similar. Right. And and you know, past the the accent and the attitude, Jamie really doesn't remind me of Paige at all. Right. And I guess the on the on the surface appearance because she's got like the black hair. Right. Should be a very interesting matchup. Come on, Jamie. You know what to do, Natsuko. Spit in your hand and shake it. Yeah. Oh, man. A lot riding on this here. Oh, one, one. Jamie. Two. Oh. That was a deep roll up, too. <laughs> trying to get that win early. Oh, no. and now it's going out. Roll up one, two. Oh, Jamie's in the ropes. There oh, Jamie having a good laugh ropes. about it. <laughs> I laugh, oh, she laughed. Block. Oh, shoulder block. Come on, Natsuko. Come on now. And they're still laughing. I, I, yeah, I, feel, I, I love it. I love the transition from like this, like, haha, funny to real intensity. Check out. Camel clutch? Oh, oh the fish. Oh. oh, no. John, look away. You know Oh yeah, I just I just want to see if it's coming. 
It is. It is. It is. It is. I tabbed out. Tell me when it's over. Oh, she's blocking. She's blocking. She blocked the, the wet willy. She did it. Oh, thank God. Yes. The back. Oh, no. Natsuko might do it, though. Oh, yeah, God. Natsuko's going to do it now. Uh, oh, she got it. Oh, oh, oh I can't. Uh, oh, I'm so glad I missed out on that. Oh. Oh. It sends Jamie out of the ring. Oh. And now, got her headlock there. I'm just saying, Natsuko reminds me of Asuka sometimes. Like some of the facial expressions and stuff. Now, uh, Jamie, right in the ring post. Not necessarily as a wrestler, more just in appearance, and the way she acts and stuff. And. The ch- oh, oh no, she the whiffed. Chair shot. She didn't really whiff either. She caught the ring. I'll block the chair. Oh, Jamie got the tear back, but that's good. What a larry by Natsuko. Abel's here. He said, "Wet willies are the worst." I would never do that to you, Abel. You're too beautiful. And uh, not to go. Human. Yeah, which isn't as bad as a wet willy. Come on, Ashton, calibrate your compass for fuck's sake. Oh, and, uh, okay. P- picking up Jamie Hader there. Uh, and no, oh, went for the scoop slam. Jamie countered. I mean, is there an entire demon species dedicated to punishing people if they do wet willies? There should be. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, check. Backslide. Oh, and Jamie kicked out. Jamie I'm just gonna saying, get there isn't back. a wet willy Wendigo. <laughs> and oh, oh my god, that backbreaker! That was brutal. I love it. Two count. And not go on her stomach here, defensive position to avoid any more future pins. <laughs> Jamie just called Natsuko a bitch. I'm sure she meant it affectionately. Oh, yeah, totally. Spear! She's going to go for another one. Got it. Pin. One. Two. No. Kick out. Oh, Fireman's Carry thinking about the steamroller. Is she going to get it? She got it, yeah. She does. Oh, she held up a three. She's going to go for three frog splashes again, it looks like. She's up. There's number one. Got it. Heading on up again. And now. Here comes number two. And she got that. All right, one more. Let's see if it gets the job done. Or if she even connects. We'll see. Up top. Number three incoming. And she got it. She got it. Three consecutive connections. But only a two count. Jamie's staying in this thing. And now, oh, throat slid there. Yep. Oh, Jamie, too strong. Too big, too strong. Upper strikes there. Scoop. Swing bottom style. One, two. No, Jamie kicks out of that, too. I don't know if that is meant to be Natsuko's finisher, but if it is, it is very ineffective and she needs a new one. Yeah. Oh, no, setting Jamie down. On her back, or on her stomach. So Natsuko's trying to come down on her back. Oh, it looks like she's motioning for a leg drop. But Jamie's recovering. Forearm. Uh, forearm there. Clubbing away here on Natsuko. Natsuko. 
Suplex. Superplex, even. Oh, and the roll through with the. Still. Oh, and the. Falcon Arrow. Arrow. Nobody kicks out of the Falcon Arrow. One, two. Oh. <laughs> Where did nobody comes from, uh, kicks out of the Falcon Arrow come from again? Excalibur on PW. I was going to say Excalibur, but. Yeah. That cheeky son of a bitch. He's also the same He's one. He's done the Cole. deed. <laughs> He's also the same one that said Adam Cole weighs 3,000 pounds. So, you know, he's yeah. inaccurate about a lot of things. But he starts a lot of memes, which is, you know, <laughs> beneficial in its own right. Better than fucking a little bit of the bubbly, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh! oh and and Jamie from, was... Yeah, from Jamie herself. Pin two. Now let's go better oh. her own finisher being used against her. And Jamie now. Oh, Jamie could be thinking her finish. The, yeah, oh, that's she it. got it. That's it. Six points. Two, three. That's it. And I got that prediction correct. Man. I need all the help I can get on these predictions. I'm so Jamie Hater. Just Still owning haven't gotten back now. to 500 since that terrible afternoon show prediction day that I had. I went one and three on that show, but I'm two and one so far today. So I just need one more correct in order to be back up to 500. Nicely done, friend. What's our next match? Um, next matchup. It looks like Mayu versus Natsu. Actually, I just want to see. Oh, they shook hands after the match. Yay! Awesome. All right. Wait, did they both spit in their hands? I think so, because one of them looked grossed out. So one of them did. No, I don't think they did. I think it was just a good old-fashioned handshake. Mutual of right. admiration. Hooray! I am ready for this. I am at 39 seconds. Oh, boy. Mayu Natsu. I did predict uh, Mayu to win this, so hopefully this gets me up to 500. All right, count us down when you're ready. We're, um, yep, uh, I've got to make sure that I get to 39 seconds as well. 28, 33. Come on, 35. Okay, I'm going to let it play to 39 now. 35, 36, 37, 38, and paused. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you get to 39 seconds on Natsu Sumide versus Mayu Iwatani. We're going to do this right now. Three, two, one, go. Hi, August 25th, 2019, a day of destiny. It's my birthday. All these shows that we're watching today happened on my birthday. One year ago in the same venue, I fought Mayu in the five star. I lost. Yes, I lost. I might be weird, but I think she looks so much better without the colored contacts in. Oh, she's telling Mayu you're in trouble. Damn, I think she might take this one seriously, bro. Damn, well, hold on. And this is an official match. An official five star match versus Natsu Sumire. She locked me outside the venue. For her shady tactics. <laughs> I love it. I'll do my best spend two points and move it to four points. Here I go. Oh my god. But yeah, uh, as I was getting ready to say, we know the last time Natsu took a match seriously was against Hanakimura and she lost. So just because Natsu takes something seriously doesn't mean it's guaranteed. But Yeah, but Hanakimura is a fucking savage who will stomp your shit into oblivion. Yeah, that's true. She isn't that type. She's too sweet. And uh, now here we go here. I love how you even just pointed out that the last time Natsu was serious, she lost. And Abel in chat was still like, dead serious, Natsu is unbeatable. Abel, why are you so 
fucking precious. Christ, I can't deal with this. <laughs> oh man, and here comes Natsu, looking good, rocking the uh, the captain's hat. Oh, he doesn't acknowledge that loss. Okay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Dead serious Natsu being kept track of starting now. <laughs> And if she loses this match, it'll be starting now, after. <laughs> and now Mayu coming out now. Oh, here we go. Wow, only Very is left after this. Kind of crazy how far we've come, how we, we've kind of breezed through this show. Yeah, man, absolutely. No doubt about it. There's my you. Maya! Looking fucking adorbs. Well, she doesn't have, like, the uh, the rainbow gear on anymore. She's back to the normal blue and white. I wonder if that was just meant to be, like, a one-time thing. Yeah, might have been. Might have been. To quote the dream, I have no memory of that. Yeah. He said I. He said the dream has no memory of Dream speaks in third person. Natsu looks like she's ready to go, man. She's she's taking this seriously. She's ready. I'm digging this side of, of Natsu. Not just because I like her as a serious wrestler, but also because, like I said earlier, I think she looks a lot better without the colored contacts in. I, you know, I just think it's nice that she's sowing a multitude of facets to her personality. Because I, and you know, it's not even just comedy wrestlers, but I feel like, uh, you know, like like most wrestlers, you only get to see like one dimension for so long. Uh, but you know, there's there's a lot of variants and. It's good to see Natsu can have fun, but then also take care of business when she needs to. That's kind of why I've been digging Kobe's run for the most part. Like, yeah, you can still be a comedy guy and say funny things, but you can also turn it on, you know, and be serious when he needs to and, and defend the world title as he needs to. Same thing with Natsu. Yeah. She takes Mayu very seriously. She wants those two points. She wants to get her respect. Natsu is yet to win a match in this tournament. To be able to beat Mayu to start her winning ways, that's one hell of a freaking way to start. Oh, yay! And still, still not as many streamers as I would like for Armayu. And Natsu looks like she's going to explode out of the corner. You see the stance she's assumed. Yeah, and just waiting frog, for that frog stance going on. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that bell to ring and her just to explode out wow, with the drop kick. I hope she explodes out with her hand extended for a handshake. That's not happening. Oh, neither one of them. Ooh. Not so. Wait, not, not, not sure. Mayu isn't sure what to do. Well, Mayu did say she had to watch out for her tactics. She's asking her to come closer. Oh, a real handshake! Oh my god! I think Natsu, I think Natsu Isabel. wants to earn Mayu's respect. You know, she talked oh. about how Mayu beat her last year, and I, that's that's what I like about Natsu. You can definitely tell because even the short promo with Hana Kimura saying, "You know, Hana, I feel really sorry for you." You know, like I mean, dude, if, if you, you go can... back to the draft, Natsu lasted to like the seventh round, I think, maybe the sixth round, and she seemed really annoyed that Kagetsu. Didn't draft her, but she also made note, like, oh, Stars almost drafted me. That wouldn't have been good. But, like, maybe the reason that she kind of had Stars in her mind is because she really does want to kind of make Mayu want to, not maybe, maybe not want her to on her team, but, like, she wants to be good in Mayu's eyes, you know? Like, she wants. It would be 
really, it would be really fascinating. I mean, I know we have a match going on, but it would be really fascinating to me if, like, Natsu was one of those comedy characters that actually had some complexity to her, and she used comedy as, like, a coping mechanism because she feels pretty insecure. Yeah. And, like, just every time she competes against a big-time competitor, like, it's her confronting her insecurity, so she gives it her all because maybe this is the night that she overcomes it. And, like, I don't know. I just feel like it's a very fascinating story to tell because yeah. I, I think her beating Mayu would be a huge freaking deal for her. And nice face wash there. And now she's going to go for the scoop slam. No, Mayu. What a spin. She's actually kick. going wow. for a finisher there, that uh, package DDT. Oh, okay. Wow. See, not to has that sense of urgency. I mean, you know, Hana thinks Natsu's a joke. Natsu, we saw how proud she was when she won her first championship, the artist of stardom, you know, championship. Yep. So, like, yeah, there, there's some layers to Natsu, man. Like, I dig it. Oh, oh, Mayu, what a counter and kick out. But that, that's the thing, man. The counter wrestling from a lot of stardom wrestlers is very impressive to me. How they can turn what's supposed to be the opposition's pin originally into a pin of their own. Like, you saw Mayu do to Natsu there. You gotta be, you gotta be careful. Now, Natsu. Natsu feeling confident. She's got a smile here. And, oh! Ooh, that doesn't feel good. And now Mayu, the double stomp. Wrist lock. Natsu trying to block. Natsu's doing a good job, man. <laughs> and oh one on forearm to the gut. Jesus, that was intense. Let's go. And Mayu now. Ooh, off the ropes. Drop kick to the chest. Honestly, I think that these two should just hug each other. Like Mayu clearly has, you know, some residual trust issues, I feel like, and Natsu has insecurity issues. I feel like they should just hug it out and support each other and be the best girlfriend that the other one has ever had. I just wonder yeah. if this is like Natsu really just trying to prove herself so that she doesn't get drafted so late again next year. Cuz no yeah. wanted her. Like nobody wanted her and, and and Kagetsu was just fucking with her and just letting her keep falling and falling and falling and she was just throwing a temper tantrum on the the ramp, but at the end of the day, it's still got a sting knowing that nobody wants you other than the team that's just kind of, you know, there for you to fall on. That's why I'm talking about the complexity of Natsu Sumire, man. There's there's some layers there to explore, and I definitely agree with your assessment. And now she's trying to resist the dragon suplex. Went for the kick. <laughs> Super kick from Mayu, Jesus. Wow. Off the ropes. Oh, look at this. Oh, cradle. Oh. Two. No. Oh, hey, that's all it takes. Oh, backslide attack. Backslide. No. Oh, almost like emblem. Or uh, revival, I mean. That's it! That's it. She got her. What? Holy shit. That makes just so much sense. Wanted. That's the same move that Saki beats her with. Holy shit. Saki Kashima beat Mayu with that exact same pinning combination on day one. Yo, yo, Natsu's asking for a mic. She wants a mic. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, I, oh, I want to be here to hear this. Holy shit. And of course, I predicted Mayu to win, so I'm now way below 500. Holy fuck. I got revenge on Mayu Iwatani. <laughs> Aww. She's so happy, and so are we. She's I've been researching Mayu she, since losing her. She had her scouted. She knew that she could beat her with the revival pin. <laughs> I know your weakness is, and today you were weak. Today you were weak. Wow. <laughs> yes, you did. It's incredible. I'm so happy. 
Uh, yeah, but, but wasn't it a great revival? Wasn't it a great revival? <laughs> Yo, and this ties into because she's already taken Saki's theme song. Yeah, she's trying to just steal Saki's identity. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. At least use a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Give her another one. She can't have mine. Oh my god. She's disgusting. Really disgusting. <laughs> oh, there's the slide. So what did you say? You were complaining about my victory? <laughs> yeah, I don't like anything you do. Are you happy to win with other people's moves? Good point. <laughs> yeah, Saki. <laughs> this has got to be a shot at B. <laughs> For the Ocean Cyclone Suplex. <laughs> Mayu just left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sing the song right in front of her face. So it's my new finishing technique. Yes. <laughs> Shut up, you damn yucky. <laughs> You're in the Red Stars and we have a league match. I'm going to beat you with a revival. Say it. In Hakata, Nishitetsu Hall, I'll win. Well, my finishing technique, revival. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> yeah! You talk all you want, girl. You got this. You earn this. <laughs> Crush you. Yeah! <laughs> She is the absolute best. I love her. Oh, no. Natsu Sumire, Master Troll. I mean, if you just started counting today, she really is undefeated when she's dead serious. Yeah. Oh, Natsu, you're the fucking best. Yeah, she is. Ugh. And now we've got Konami versus Utami, and I predicted this to be a time limit draw, so I already know I'm wrong because the video itself is under 1539. Oh, man, me and being terrible at predicting five-star. Name a more iconic duo. At this moment, I can't. Uh, that hurts. Ouch. <laughs> I just twisted the knife in there. All right. I'm at the All right, ladies second. and gentlemen, we are now on Konami versus Utami. We are at 39 seconds. You're at 39 seconds, right, John? Yes. And we are going to get this going. Three, two, one, go. Third match. Fighting Hayashista Otami, and so far she hasn't lost. Did Konami lose? Who did she lose to? Didn't she lose to B Priestley or no? B put ass to it. Yeah, she did, you're right. I'm actually glad I've been keeping fairly good track of this stuff. It's interesting because she kind of ran through Queen's Quest in the Cinderella tournament earlier this year. And now she's 0-1 against Queen's Quest and might go 0-2 if she loses to Utami here. 
Tommy says my five star winning percentage is one hundred percent. So I guess a little jab at Konami. Pasinto. Here we go. We got entrances here. This is the semi main event of the night show of August twenty fifth in Osaka. That's Konami's theme song right there. That's good shit. I love the gas mask with the floppy ears. It's the best thing. Konami is ready for this shit. Yep. Dig it. This is going to be one hell of a matchup, I feel like. So we'll see how it all goes. I'm still just so happy for Natsu that she picked up a win over Mayu. Yeah, that's huge for her. And <laughs> Natsu's crazy. been having a great year, man. Wins the Artist of Stardom Championship and beats Mayu in the five star. Not yeah. bad. Yeah, man. Azumi has already actually eclipsed my predicted um, record for her. I predicted that she would finish with three points. So I, I thought she would have a win over Natsu. And then a uh, time limit draw with Avery. And, yeah, no, she's already got two wins. She's already got four points. I, th I thought she'd finish the tournament with three. So she's blowing my prediction out of the water. Yeah, there you go, man. That's I mean, hell, Jamie Hader. Jamie Hader has already matched my prediction for her. I thought I had her finishing the tournament with six points. She's already got six. God damn. Yeah. I was just like, fuck, what am I going to do? Just exist in my wrongness, I guess. <laughs> yeah. John's just like, yeah, you were wrong. How does it feel, bitch? Yeah, now you're like the rest of us. <laughs> oh, Tommy he's, now out here. He's like you. Sure. Uh, now I'll hand your title off. Stop it. You stop it. Yeah, no. I can stress letters too. <laughs> you in your face. Uh oh. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the absolute best that I can do after today is 12 and 14. I I'd say I believe in you, but you've really been off track. So I, don't I know. really have been. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I picked B to beat Jungle. That seems pretty likely to happen. So I could just go. Uh, yeah, that's what that would be. Then is if if I get that correct, I would be twelve and fourteen. If Jungle beats B, I'll be eleven and fifteen. We'll see how that all goes for you, bud. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> John's just like, you know, let's just delay your despair for a few more minutes, bud. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not optimistic at all if the mask is going to completely slide off, but I mean, who knows? Stranger things have happened. Konami was trained by Asuka. The one that's in WWE right now, formerly Kana. Yes, yes, I, I figured. Well, there's more than one Asuka in the Joshi scene. A duck there. Oh, man. Tommy. Oh, wow, these two going at it. Are they going to try the Lancer already? Oh, no. Roll up. One, two. Owen. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, that was dangerous. Right out of the, right out of the box. What? Yeah. I can dig it. Sucker. I was going for Savage, not Booker. Ah. I know, Tommy and Konami here. Greco Roman, baby. Not for long, though. Konami broke it off, going for the wrist lock. And Tommy countered. Lock of her own. Konami roll through. Oh, single leg pick. leg pick. What is she going for here? Dude, I'm telling you, Konami is a badass. Like I, that, and and the thing is, it was these two actually. These two had a fucking shoot match for Utami's protest, and Konami just immediately tapped her ass out. Damn, it was dope. 
God, I just hope Konami is actually a decent person and like doesn't go shoot on anybody when a match doesn't go her way or whatever. Like, I just hope that she can just have the confidence of, oh, that's okay because it was a, a choreographed thing, and I know if this is a shoot thing, I could kick pretty much all of their asses. So, snap there, take over. Nice oh kick to the back there. God. Who who has done that before? Who has done what before now? What you fear Konami doing. Well, I mean, you know, we know that, like, fucking Bodum shot on a ref recently. And even at the start of Stardom, wasn't there somebody that, like, shot on somebody because they didn't like that yeah, they were that's, or whatever? Yeah, that, was, that wasn't at the start of Stardom. That was in 2015. It was Yoshiko. Yeah. So, like, I'm just saying. I, I just never wanted to get such an ego that it's like, what? You mean I'm not winning the World of Stardom title? Well, I'll just go shoot on the champion and expose her anyway. No, I don't dude, think you got to understand where Yoshiko came from, though. Like, she was trained by somebody that probably approved of her actions. Ugh. And we know Konami was trained by Asuka, Kana, whatever you want to call her. And we know that she's kind of a fucking dope lady, so... <laughs> yeah. Kana-chan TV. Yes. Oh, she I, I saw apparently something she put something up on like Twitter or Instagram or something the other day. Uh, it might have even been yesterday that she finished episode 2, so we're probably going to get that very soon. I'm excited. Yeah. She's so precious. I've watched She's episode really one, good at I, Mario Maker too. It's kind of crazy. I've watched episode 1, I think at least 4 times if not more. She's Oh, see, adorable. I've watched it with you once and then one other time separately, and that's it. Yeah, like, it's so short that you can, like, do multiple watches of it. Learn how to make content, Xavier, I say to the man that's doing everything in his life and really thriving. <laughs> Two million subscribers strong. Make better content. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> but you make a better face. Fine retort. Oh, uh, now. Oh, Tommy, yeah, that was a little Yeah, maybe he should be worrying more about making his content tight. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you're not adorable, except your cry face, and that's just a different kind of pleasure I derive from it. <laughs> Speaking of, I wanted them to shatter that leg all over again. Like, I hope it's, like, at 90% recovery, and then they just set it all the way back. That'd be amazing. Scoop slam. Let's go, Tommy. Let's go. I really like both of these women. These are both, like, if I had to make, like, a stardom tier list, these women are both, like, strong B tier for me as far as my fandom goes. Yeah, yeah, I definitely, I hear that. Cover. You hear it, but do you sign on? Okay. I'd say so. Yeah, really? Yeah. So they're both like in the like, not love column for you two. Yeah, because like Konami's cool, but as I've gotten like closer to stardom, like obviously things are going to change. And oh, nice ankle lock though. I, I, really like, I really like Konami. Like she's, she's like fringe for me yeah like from a technical Definitely would rank konami above utami but i like them both from a technical standpoint i really like both of these women and that's yeah. again i want to emphasize technical because that doesn't account for personalities because konami's wrestling is great and i do want to watch that protest uh, I'm, I'm sure i'll find time eventually and utami's torture rack bomb i've already gone on recording instead on the last stardom show we did before they just lost all their shit and had to get it together again uh, that her torture rack bomb blows AJ's out of the fucking water. Like, learn, Alan. And sliding nice. kick there. Beautifully done. Yeah, sliding shoe kick. Speaking of Alan, I'll be looking forward to his developing feud with Cedric Alexander tonight. Oh, is that a thing? Fisherman. Yeah, I, I actually think they're going to have a match of Clash of Champions, dude, and I'm actually looking forward to it. Interesting, okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah, because, like, I don't know, well, you must, uh, wait, what was your relationship to Raw last week? Did you even watch it? I know we played Rocket League, I think, for a good I had it right? on in the background, but I didn't pay very much attention to it. Because, yeah, the club, they attack. well, the OC, excuse me, the OC um, attacked Cedric backstage, and I think that's what cost him his match against Corbin, because obviously it wasn't 100%. I did uh, see that, I did like. see that, but I'm glad that you painted the picture because I forgot about it until you brought it up just now. Yeah, so I think it's on a collision course for Clash Champions, which I'm actually hyped for. Like, truthfully, on paper, Clash Champions card looks pretty legit. So, yeah. uh, it's just a That's shame. That's kind of been the I'm common theme in WWE. They have shit TV and really strong pay-per-view cards that end up delivering lately. 
I mean, the only thing I'm really not looking forward to now, if you want the truth, is uh, is King of the Ring, because I feel like they just missed the perfect fucking story to tell with that. So, cover here. Konami kicks out. Utami now going to go into the camel clutch. 100% wet willy free. Yeah. All business. Ended up being Corbin versus Gable. Which. Or I'll Corbin be versus Ali. I guess it could be either one. Well, no, it can't be Ali because remember Elias beat him. That's right. Yeah. So it is going to be Corbin versus Gable. Which, I mean, here's the thing, dude. I know you and I both love Chad, but like, I don't even know. It's a lot of feelings to sort through, which we will do on Clash Champions preview and predictions. It just seems so weird that they're taking somebody who was, I mean, we knew about him and a lot of other people because of NXT knew about him, but main roster wise, he was a relative unknown and they're going to push him all the way up to King of the Ring now. Yeah. And it's either that or it's fucking Corbin, which like you failed massively if you go that way. So, and one more thing I want to say about this because I know this is like a stardom commentary, but since we're already on the subject, I have to wonder. Like, say hypothetically, Gable does win the whole thing, which again we will really iron all that out on our premium predictions. You have to wonder how much that's a move to appeal to Fox, given that they want SmackDown to be more of a sports kind of looking program and Gable's yeah. a freaking Olympian. You know what I mean? So yeah, like, like I was watching the NFL yesterday and I kept on seeing WWE get advertised because it's on Fox now and it's kind of crazy. So so that's going to be a point I'll reiterate in preview predictions is that if Gable went like that's clearly a nod to Fox because, oh, yeah. look who won our King of the Ring, the freaking Olympian. If that doesn't make it look like a legit product. Oh, my God. Look at these shoot kicks by Konami. Right. Speaking of a legit product, those kicks to the head. Two, oh, I know Tommy yeah. kicks out. Kicks out from the kicks to the head by Konami. Kicks everywhere. Uh, I'll well, pay about the hair. Oh, out of. Uh, sleeper. Burr. I wonder if I just pull her over like Suzuki does when he gets that one choke hold in there and then just kind of reposition. Oh, Suzuki. Oh, throw. What, a throw. what a throw. And another one. Look at Utami being a workhorse. I love it. Yeah. That's why I said, man, on a technical Ooh. level, I really like both of these women kick out there. Oh, oh crap. could it be that torch rack bomb? No. No. Ripcord. Tommy went for the roundhouse. Lariat. What a lariat. That might be the beginning of the end. That was one hell of a lariat. Even, even Utami signaling the same thing. I'm going to pick her up and drop her down and get two more points. Oh, shit. Oh, Oh, triangle answer. She's got it. Oh, this could be Tommy's first loss. She's cranking. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Holy crap. Big, big win for Konami. Well, that's what you get for taking a shot at the triangle answer. Triangle answer. Yak pasento. Wow, what a submission. See, that's why, again, technically... Konami is my freaking girl, man. She she gets shit done. Yeah, she does. What a counter wrestler! What a what a of stardom champions. Yeah, absolutely. So she and Jungle Man, and they took the titles from Utami and B too. So it's fitting. Hold on, absolutely, bro. Yeah. All right, bro. We got one match left. Yes, we do, and it is B. Speaking of speaking of B, B versus Jungle, Jungle, Kino. yeah, it's the two halves of the Goddess of Stardom Championship match that we saw on the last Karakin show. Might have actually happened before the Karakin show. Actually, yeah, it was. It was before Karakin. Jungle looking serious. I'm at 39 seconds. I'm ready when you are. I'm really glad yeah. that we're. Yeah, we really beasted through these shows, man. Oh, right dude, this might genuinely go to a time limit draw. Look at the timestamp on this video. Yeah, it's 22.44, so we'll see. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on our final match of the day, which means we're actually going to get done in time for anyone that wants to watch Raw to be able to watch it. I will probably opt out, but, you know, if you want to enjoy it, go for it. No, uh, no shame here. Uh, that being said, we are at 39 seconds on Jungle versus B. Jungle looking all kinds of ready. John said he was ready, so I'm going to count us down. Three, two, one, go! Five Star Grand Prix 2019, I've been hammered down. Two opponents and two losses. Who do I face? He pressed the red belt queen. She's a strong opponent. 
But if I beat the red belt champ here. I'll have a that would be fucking huge if she pulls this off. Say yes, sir. Come on, girl. Show some faction pride. So far, isn't she? Go, jungle, go! Go, Yawn. Go, jungle, go! <laughs> Beat her ass, jungle. I'm sick of her running her mouth. Ah, uh, priestly. That's exactly what I feel like. And there is jungle. But in all seriousness, folks, I wanted to elaborate on a certain point while we got entrances here. If jungle Kiona wins this match, regardless of how I feel about B personally, you beat the red belt champion and starting with how protected I feel like their top champions are to a point. I mean, I was surprised that Arisa lost so many matches out of the gate that she did in the five-star Grand Prix. But I, I even think there's a, there's a considerable separation between the wonder of stardom title and the world stardom title, like world of stardom. You beat the champion. That is fucking rarefied air. You're breathing. And if jungle Kiona pulls that shit off today, to know that she would even have a connection to the Red Belt, which she'd be, she's 100% right in saying, by the way. That is, I mean, nothing against Jungle Kiona, but to me personally, for the short time I've been watching, that's inconceivable to me. But it would be just enormous, immense for her. Uh, I could barely even speak it would be of that kind of magnitude. So we got B Priestley coming out now. Did you hear a theme song, John? Uh, no, I did not. I have this on mute right now. Bow down to the queen. Uh, God, why don't you and Charlotte just get a room for fuck's sake? And then fuck off out of wrestling forever? Yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, I don't hate B, but if she's taking Charlotte with her, I'm fucking down. Yeah. Oh, and there is the world of stardom title. I mean, just from the little I know about Jungle Kiona, this is the woman that when you showed me the Queen's Quest formation videos was heartbroken, devastated that Momo, you know, betrayed her. You know, I helped you with your homework. How could you do this to me? And now all this time later, she could beat the world of stardom champion, the same champion I might add that had a successful title retention against Momo Watanabe. And Jungle could catch up to Momo a little bit if she beats B. That would be freaking huge. So um, I think even for Jungle's own sense of confidence, this may be, and I don't mean to hyperbolize, but though, oh, wow, this may be the biggest match of Jungle Kiona's career. I know she's got the personal beat. forget beef. that Jungle did pick up a win over a team that included B Priestley in order to win those goddess of tag titles. That is true. And I know that Jungle's greatest rival right now, I think in her mind, is still Utami. And she did lose to Utami in the five-star Grand Prix. But let's also keep in mind that Utami lost to B <laughs> when the title was at stake. So Jungle could really even the playing field beating B in this non-title matchup. And regardless of how the Grand Prix ends, she would get a future World of Stardom championship match. So... I don't think it really works that way, but the way that B has been handling her defenses, she would probably want to defend it against Jungle because she has really gone out of her way to defend the title against anyone that's beaten her in the last year. So if she would get the win there, yeah, that should probably... I think, it, and that is one thing I'll give B credit for, is that this is a woman that cares about protecting her spot. If she notices a blind spot in the form of a certain competitor that's beaten her, she wants to, uh, she wants to correct it. She wants to rectify it. She wants to be untouchable. And, and the way you do that is by going through everybody that's ever made you vulnerable. Will Jungle Kiona be added to that list tonight? Will B have to handle Jungle in the future? She'd love to beat Jungle here and not have to worry about her ever again. She'd be like, okay, she's in the rear view. On to the next one. 
And hell, that, that's kind of B's mindset. She said nobody beats uh, the, the champion. Nobody beats the top guy, Jin. But <laughs> nobody's told Jungle that. Not yet, anyway. Yeah. And there's got Jungle by the hair. What a shoot kick. Another shoot kick there. Jungle, though, not deterred. Third shoot kick. Off the ropes. Nice shoulder block there by Kiona. Jungle, jungle. Two count. And Jungle, now you can see wincing and pain definitely registering those kicks. B with another kick there. I want to, oh my God, shoot kick to the back. And Jungle definitely felt that. You take out a person's back, that's, that's a pain I don't even want to imagine. But I think if, if B weakens the back, it's got to soften up the defenses. And, and you know, it's going to make it easier for B to, uh, to hit Queen's Landing, her finish. So she's really softening up jungle here. And, oh. oh, diving uppercut on the back. Now going for the pin. One, two, jungle kicks out. Better kick out jungle. Come on, girl. Damn. <laughs> This is a big match for both Ooh. of these women. I've already explained why Damn. it's a big match. In the corner. She's obviously planning something. Oh, wow. Stomping on her back. Oh, and the double stomp. Damn. Oh, and now B. Again, stomping on the back of Jungle. Oh, she's under. Wow, oh. B. That's wow. Kind of tucked it behind the actual turnbuckle. So the turn that's exposed, uh, but it's not blatant. Oh, jungle! Oh, oh, oh. oh and, and B pointed her how smart she is. I can't believe she'd take this shortcut. I thought she was a member of Queen's Quest. I thought she was a proud competitor, and she's taking this shortcut. Are you kidding me? Might be a, is this the Queen's Quest way? Descent into Heeldom. I, I can't imagine EO doing this. Mm. Even at EO's worst, I could never imagine EO doing this. Oh my god. Yeah, even at EO's worst, you wouldn't see her cheating to win. That's the thing. Wow. Is, oh, wow. Is this really what Queen's Quest has devolved into under B. Priestley's leadership? That's Momo really is the leader. Well, technically, Azumi is the leader, but Momo is the, the interim leader. Yeah, because she's she's the veteran. She's got the title, so she's she's got the capital to lead the group. And jungle that back end softened up. Oh my god, she's gonna do the, another Irish whip. And jungle's got a reverse here. She's got to use the power. She does. Be oh, but big damn! Kicked her in the face. And, and the kick to the face. Double the like, stomp double again. Double that same back. She has tortured that back. Yes, yeah, she has. And Jungle trying to get some reprieve, but partner, haven't you had back pain before, partner? You could speak to a degree on what Jungle's going through. It can't Nothing anywhere good. close to what Jungle's experiencing right now, no. Oh, caught the PK there and slams her down. Jungle needed that desperately. And you have to imagine that, that Rena's heart is with Jungle. Jungle also a member of Tokyo. Tailbone Cyber pain before, Fun. and I've had rib pain, but it was front ribs, not back ribs. Right. And you can even see that crossbody, everything Jungle's going to do. that intense of, like, spinal pain, like what Jungle's going through. Oh, and Rena's trying to offer Jungle a bottle. Or, like, lumbars or anything like that. Right. Yeah. And the solidarity. You see Leo well, offering. Yeah, yeah. Leo. I was going to say, meanwhile, Leo's trying to help B out as if she needs it. I love that these two both girl watching matches, but they also maintain continuity by supporting their faction mates. It's pretty yeah. cool. And jungle. Shoulder block. Shoulder block again. She's still got that power. Another shoulder block. Off the ropes. Big splash. One. 
two. Bit of a slow, uh, slow to get into position there, ref. Yeah, I wouldn't want to think that this referee has an agenda protecting B's credibility as World of Stardom champion. Jungle. Thinking power. Oh, jungle. No, B. Oh, but the oh, roundhouse kick. Nice kick to the head there. B now, look at the, the speed. No. Oh, the jungle. Jungle stopped her. Oh, uh, the video that was up earlier, but B is learning how to do a springboard from the outside. Oh, wow. Like from the apron, like what styles and stuff do. Right, right. She's doing it like she'll put a foot on the bottom rope and use that to get up to the top rope to do the springboard. Okay. So she's kind of working her way towards implementing springboard moves into her arsenal. I see. Look at these clubbing forearms from Jungle. Jungle not messing around here. Power slam from the top. What a throw there. Sliding Larry to the back. <laughs> Kirby Freeman, I saw B slip the ref 20 bucks. Two, oh, kick okay. out. Oh, but Jungle, half crab, not bad. Oh, but B almost immediately gets to the ropes there. And you saw Jungle couldn't even really be comfortable in the hold. That back is giving her such problems. Yeah, she's got major Matt Jackson syndrome right now. I mean, I, I hate to give B any sort of credit, but it was an ingenious strategy. Again, you go after something like the back, that's going to follow you the whole freaking match. And Jungle now. Thankfully for Jungle, the next show, the next five-star show is a full week after this show. So she will get a bit of a reprieve. Yeah, it's not like the G1 where you have another show two or three days from now. And jungle now. G1 climax is brutal for that, for the schedule. Forearm there from B really knocked jungle out. Wow. Look at jungle, man. She's down and out. And B. Oh, man. B just staggering there. Oh, Big jungle. forearm by jungle. Forearm you saw some B. life return to jungle's face. Forearm from jungle. B. Jungle. B. 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 Oh, and now B off the ropes. Whoa, and a big forearm from Jungle. That rocked B. Oh, but now B with a forearm. Oh, man, takes Jungle down. Jungle into the... Again, that was a lariat, though, from Jungle. Joe off the rope... Or Jungle off the ropes. B. Try. Oh, she... Blocked the lariat with her foot. Going for a Saito. Jungle. Shots to the back of the head. B with the B trigger. First B trigger of the match. And Oh, and another, another B trigger, B trigger into the ropes. Oh, that was a big one. That was a big one. In one, two. Whoa, that was close. Jungle, Jungle understands. You know, with how Japan and Japanese wrestling promotion seemingly treat their world champions, it's not often you get a chance to climb in the ring with them. For all Jungle knows, this could be her last opportunity all year. And, oh, oh a knee to the back. Very I was just thinking about nice. Queen's Landing. Oh, wow, she's trying to set up for it already. What? That's why I said that working on the back was an ingenious strategy. Does Jungle have a counter here? Victory roll. She got it. One, two. B kicks it. No. B off the ropes. Oh, might have been thinking about a Hurricane Rana, but Jungle's way too strong. And Wait, what? Standing Boston Crab. Brilliant. Okay, I thought I was just going to do a Styles Clash at first. I was losing my shit. And Leo trying to encourage... B to get to the ropes. Jungle is still in a lot of pain, man. She's just having to exert lower back energy with this submission, and it is not making it easy for her. And B got to the ropes. Oh, but Jungle. No. Hey. Not far. Jungle again, not going to waste Jungle this opportunity. She's really cranking on it, though. B got to the ropes. Wow. Oh, no, she didn't. No, I thought she did. Now she did. There we go. One, and oh, three, four. 
And she let go. You know, I can't even necessarily blame Jungle for holding onto the hold. Let's remember that B exposed a turnbuckle first. Yeah. Scoop and now Jungle. And now Jungle heading on up to the uh, Jungle going to that. Middle rope splash to the back of B. She's not done, though. She's going back up. She might be going all the way. Jungle yeah. firing up here. She's going all the way up top. She wants a top rope jungle splash. B recovering, yep. though. Oh, wow. Big gum and Geary. Jungle a bit dazed after that kick. And... Oh, the double oh, stomp to wow. the outside from the top rope. Wow. That was pretty brutal from B. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was nasty. Jungle now crawling over. Oh, could it be a regal plex? Oh, God. Jungle trying to counter. Kick to the gut. Jungle now going to try and power through. She got the scoop slam. I think even Jungle's a bit surprised. She's going to pick B up here. Oh, man, this is going to be... An apron power bomb. No, caught. Oh, caught the B trigger. You can power bomb onto the apron, maybe. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's going to equalize the playing field. Great job, Jungle. We're up to and you see Reina's face. She can't believe it. They've got to get back in the ring. Jungle's back. Oh, B. Oh, wins. Jungle won by counting. Holy fuck. <laughs> Jungle Kiona, whether by count out or not, just beat the Red Belt champion. Wow. Or as she called her in the opening promo, the Red Belt queen. Yeah. Wow. Jungle Kiona with the gun out. That's awesome. Good for Jungle, man. She actually did it. She beat her. She will more than likely get a future World of Stardom Championship match. Wow. Let's see what uh, if Jungle has anything to say here. She's got a mic. Yay, Jungle. A win is a win, and I just beat the Red Belt champion, B. Priestley. Yes! That's my mentality, exactly. Yay! I wanted a three count, but I won. Who besides Jungle Kiona can go on to win the tournament? <laughs> I mean, there are still a lot of options, sweetheart, but I'm rooting for you. <laughs> uh, you don't think so? I couldn't hear anyone. What is that? No, 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 Jungle. Hannah's going to show up and just be like, y'all have fun fighting it out for who comes in second and lose to me in the finals. Oh, there's Hana chan Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> there was a little accident today, so I'm not defeated. It's a fucking crime. I'm the most passionate about winning, so please look forward to it. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Jungler's gonna be like, bitch, please. We're all on the same team, but we all have great ambitions. Who do you guys think will win? Hana! <laughs> Jungle's just like, pick me! Rina. Oh, no, don't Rina. do that to Rina. She's a Hana fangirl! Hana son! <laughs> oh, 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 what? <laughs> Protect her, Hana! Protect her, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! Everybody's different. Everyone's special. That's Tokyo Cyber School. I know. You just beat the shit out of your young lion. This pose feels disingenuous. Avery's in there. I wonder if she's officially Tokyo Cyber Squad now. That's weird. I guess so. <laughs> Avery's just kind of jamming out to the theme. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, that was crazy. Uh, Rena just giving her honest opinion and she gets the shit beat out of her for it. <laughs> I love that Hana has a special handshake with everyone. Well, either way, Jungle, even if everybody's counting you out, there's no denying you just beat B Priestley, and that's huge. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, Jungle. See, Hana's they still supportive of Jungle. Helping her out? This faction's so beautiful. Besides the online abuse, and you know what though? Even low key, I'm I'm here for it. Yeah. So um guys, thank you to everybody that came out and thank you to everybody that stuck around for our coverage of both uh 825 shows day and night. And uh, we got out at a pretty good time. It's only 7:20, so you guys I know, right? We actually have a little bit of time to take a break before Raw. It's pretty sweet. Absolutely. So I'm I'm just gonna keep it brief. Thanks everybody. If you haven't left a like yet, please do so. And we'll see you again when we see you. Uh because again, that's that's really dependent on stardom when we go live for that, but other than stardom. Yeah, if they get the entire nine one show uploaded tomorrow, we're totally gonna try and live react to that tomorrow as well. Absolutely. But again, that's contingent on them, so I don't wanna make the same mistake I've been making and be like, Oh, we'll be on this time because that's not necessarily true. Yeah. We'll see where stardom is. It's, it's at. pending. It's all pending. I mean, we're gonna try our best. Uh, to do it as soon as they get it uploaded, but if they don't get it uploaded tomorrow, we'll try on Wednesday. If not, then we'll do it on Thursday. You know, it's just whenever they get it uploaded, we'll go live react to it. And I've been saying that for a while now. So I had some approximate days on the schedule uh, for when I was expecting us to be able to live react, and it's just kind of changing around. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, I will say, though, you know, if, if, if shows get uploaded after like six or so on any given day, we're probably going to just skip them. Um, that said though, today we, we did kind of breeze through both shows in under two hours each. Like the first show took us like an hour 15 second show took us a little longer. It was closer to two hours, but it was still probably under two hours total. Uh, but man, yeah, it was a, it was a good show. Good couple of shows. What would, what would you say your favorite match was between the two shows that we reacted to today? Um, I really enjoyed Azumi versus Hazuki, man. I thought that was really good. Nice. Um, yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to go with that one, honestly. But yeah, we'll we'll see. It's kind of funny because I I was thinking about Tam versus Azumi, so we both just love Azumi's matches, man. She's so good. Definitely, dude. So yeah, we'll see what uh, else the five star Grand Prix has to offer, and we'll see you guys when we see you guys as it relates to Stardom. Uh, yeah, when it relates to Stardom, those are all going to be afternoon recordings, and we're going to just kind of do those as they happen. But other than that, the stuff that is rigid, the stuff that we know is happening, we've got NXT live reactions Wednesday. WWE Clash of Champions 2019 preview predictions on Friday, and then of course Clash of Champions preview predictions Sunday at seven. And I've actually got to change that in the schedule. So next time uh, we decide on a date to do our Stardom reactions, uh, we'll I'll, I'll have the the time of Clash of Champions corrected for that. So uh, that being said, though, John, do you have any final words before we close out? No, brother, take us home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we hope that you all enjoyed stardom today. I know we certainly did. And of course, we hope that you enjoyed our live reactions to the shows. If you did, remember to like this video. You can click also click the uh, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, click the bell icon to join the notification squad. Follow us both on Twitter and on Twitch. Like our Facebook page. Buy our merch on Teespring. Donate to our Patreon. And share this channel and this video 
with all your wrestling fan friends and let them in on the best kept secret in the YouTube wrestling community. That's right. We are Twitwell and we are the workhorses of the YWC. And uh, I think I just kind of went over our schedule so you already know what's coming up. And of course, with NXT and then preview predictions and then live reactions and all the stardom that we're going to be coming at you with as soon as they're available to live react to, all we hope is that you remember to stay tuned.